Oh, what are we talking about? The PlayStation Switch, Scalebound, Sega bringing back old IPs, and Nintendo Direct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw your ass was fanboying it out in your podcast. Huh? I don't think so. I'm, I'm talking about y'all. You. Y'all was fanboying it out. Uh, uh, I don't know what show you were watching. But okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't, don't get all mad when I'm making an exposed video about y'all. <laughs> Don't get mad if you uh, see your see your um I'm have a thumbnail with your face with a crying Jordan face. Oh God! Yeah, it's coming. Take <laughs> <laughs> us back. Ah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, man. So when Sega gets on a roll, it gets scary because that's when they start fucking everything up. Damn, like that. That's what it is, though. It is what it is, huh? <laughs> they just they just need to stop concentrating. No, don't get me wrong. Sonic looks awesome. Uh, both Sonics, so that's a good sign. So hopefully that will um, transition to a lot more older IPs. Man, I've been waiting on Fran- Panzer Dragon. It's a lot of them. I've been waiting on Fantasy Star, Fantasy mm. Star, a, a Shining Force. I love Shining Force from Genesis. Like they got a lot of IPs, man. Uh, Sky, uh, so they do. But Skies of Arcadia, like they they got every they got all the. All the games, man. Whatever you want, from arcade to JRPGs to fighting games. Like, I don't know. It's just say kind of. Well, I won't say remind me of Nintendo. Well, they uh, Nintendo do a lot of stupid shit, just like Sega. But Nintendo just had a little <laughs> bit more money, basically. <laughs> well, they directly yeah. compete with Nintendo, so a lot of their games are similar. Oh yeah, basically. But it's like the B tier, like the house brand, like uh, like Nintendo is Coca Cola. Sega's RC Cola, shit like that. Fuck no, RC Cola. What the fuck is that? RC Cola? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Don't you ever disrespect Sega like that again? <laughs> RC Cola, if, if there's an RC Cola, uh, I would say maybe uh, who is competing with Sega Nintendo? The Turbo Graphics 16 is the RC Cola. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sonic the Hedgehog was banned by Alex. <laughs> it might as well be. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, be tripping, man. Oh. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, no. Well, Somebody what? drew a, put a picture from Mewtwo. You know those little finger spinner things? They use those for his hands instead. Oh, those fidget spinners? Yeah, yeah, fidget spinners. What the yeah, hell is those, that those shit? Those were number one sellers. I, I saw some kid playing with one the other day. I'm like, so you just it just spins around your finger? That's all it does? Well, I mean, yeah, I think, I think people with uh, ADHD, it's like, I guess it's like caters, caters to them the most. That's why it's been number one. Uh, it's like a cool little thing. I don't, I don't think it costs that much money, but it's just like I thought. I thought it did more. Like I just it literally just spins around your finger. That's all it does. There are some out there you can buy that do cost a lot of money for some reason. They're made out of like some special metal. Uh, with per- perfect zero gravity spinning or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it still spins in space. Yeah, because like like I said, you know, they said on the labels like those, you know, those who have ADHD is like it cares to them. It's like. What, it helps them focus or something? Yeah, something yeah, like that. Man, my kids have been talking that's, about that a lot lately. I don't know. I still don't know what the hell that shit is. Hey, it's our number one item. It, it, it was even featured on the news. Yeah, I, <laughs> I saw guess. that. Like, this thing is, like, all over the place. Yeah, it was some lady who created it, but uh, she never uh, did the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to renew that thing every year. <laughs> oh. oh, she lost the trademark? Yeah. Ah, what a dumb bitch! <laughs> you would have made a killing on these. She would have made a killing, yeah. She'd oh be a my millionaire god. by now. Oh yeah. my god, that's terrible. I have two of them. I love them. Do you? <laughs> They're cool. I use them at work when people piss me off. Do they? Do they spin if you still throw them in the air? I mean, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> they can play it like a yo-yo. Oh, y'all about ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Real Game 27. We are back again with another Real Talk with Real Gamer podcast. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of stuff to talk about tonight, man. I'm not sure if I have enough time to cram into this podcast, but there's only five of us, so we might can can uh, squeeze out another uh, topic. But we talked about some, of course, some Sega. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of, you know, talks about that, um, especially they bring back their old IPs, whatever, and talk about um, the Nintendo Direct. 
Uh, what else? <clears throat> Talk about this <laughs> PlayStation Switch. We might be getting one, hopefully. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, <clears throat> what else is my time? Oh, Scalebound. Um, Microsoft, they trademarked Scalebound. So I'm kind of, um, I won't say surprised because anybody could trademark anything and nothing happens. Just look at Eternal Darkness. How many times Nintendo had trademarked that? So, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's, it's, shit you know, out of it's just, uh, it's just a, a massive troll right now. So, um, basically... You know, talk about a lot of that stuff, and I know it's, it's been a lot more news, um, you know, um, from this week or today. But I don't know. Like I say, I'm gonna just talk about these first. If we have enough time, we can talk about this other stuff that's been going on. So let's uh, go ahead and get to our introductions. Uh, let's start with you, Alex. All right. What's going on, everyone? Active Sin here. We're back for another episode of Real Talk with the Real Gamer. We got potential PlayStation copycat nonsense we got uh <laughs> microsoft potentially bring it back scale bound and uh sega sega is trying to make a comeback bringing back their ips they're done with making just sonic games and being the laughing stock of the gaming community and uh yeah we'll talk about the nintendo direct from arms there's a lot of good shit in there all right all right uh let's go with you uh, dark star Yo, what's going on, guys? Dark Star back at it again with the Mr. Real Gamer. Talking about the arms direct yesterday, which is pretty hype. Glad to be here, man. All right, appreciate you coming. Uh, who else is in line? Uh, let's go with you, uh, Gamer Nick. Hey, this is Nick from Gamer Incorporated. Here again for another episode of Real Talk with the Real Gamer. Uh, might as well call this uh, Real Gamer's Sega Boner episode or something like that. Oh, <laughs> damn. Boner episode. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, okay. yeah, we got some interesting topics to talk about and stuff like that, and I, I'm kind of interested to see what Sega, where Sega's going too, because I also am a fan of Sega. Okay, uh, whatever. Uh, let's go with you. Um... Ah. <laughs> Okay, whatever, let's... I'm like on your side here and you say whatever. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, you throwing some shots at me. No, nah, no, nah, forget you. Don't try to hop on the Sega bandwagon. You got, you got, you got a freaking um, uh, insult. Oh, no, you got we, insult. Uh, we need to talk about how you gotta, wrong you are. You got an we'll, we'll, insult we'll, we'll, me. We'll, I don't want to derail the thing. We'll, we'll yeah, look over how yeah, wrong you are about that later. Whatever, whatever. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go with you, Sinister. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? Sinister here. I'm glad to be back. Um, Ready to talk some games. And, you know, interested about, you know, Sega, you know, Getting back in there and then uh, scale bound and other gaming stuff. So, oh, cool. ready to move. All right, I guess that's the first thing. Let's talk about this whole PlayStation Switch news, whatever. Because uh, we, you know, I know we talked about this like a few weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago. But it seems that this is, um, for some reason, it's back. Like they keep talking about it now. I think there's like a prototype. I think um, a prototype that's been shown. I'm not sure if that is a. I'm not sure if that's the real one or somebody just made it up. Uh, but you know, I know. Um, well, made a day. He made a video about that yesterday, and he's you know he says a rumor, but he's you know he's kind of on the. He's maybe fifty fifty thinking that we might get a, a switch uh, this coming up E three. Uh, so what PlayStation Switch that's coming up E3 and yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know if, if that's a good idea or a bad idea because this if this is true, it's gonna be like the third straight year or something like that. Sony coming with uh, E3 with hardware and stuff and everything, but yeah. I don't know, I don't I don't know. It could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. Uh, but we gonna discuss this and basically, I guess before we talk about that, let's just talk about what you've been playing this week. Uh, what you been playing, Alex? Uh, more Mario Kart. I've been playing uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider over again. Uh, that game is just so fucking good. Uh, this is my third time playing it. Uh, this time on PC. Last last two times was on Xbox. And uh, yeah, without question, Rise of the Tomb Raider is better than Uncharted 4. Uh, this Ooh. just oh. confirms it now that I'm on PC playing it in uh, 60 FPS, which just makes it better even more so. Uh, it's just a better game in general. Better story, better combat. <laughs> You can uh, customize your items and all this other crazy shit you can do. So it's a it's a fantastic game. Uh, what else was I? I played a little bit of Hollow Knight. Uh, I'll get back into that later. But so so far, Hollow Knight's pretty good. I like it. That was a Kickstarter game that came out. I think that's all that I played this week. Those three. So yeah, that's been a pretty solid gaming week, I guess. <laughs> all right. Oh, what you got, Dark Star? Mm, mostly just Overwatch. I'm trying to get. 
back into my diamond rank mm -hmm. before the season ends. So mostly, mostly that. I've been playing this this game on the Switch called Kimiko or something. Yo, it's like some five dollar eShop game. It's actually pretty good. I like it. So those are the two games I've been playing. Oh, okay. Uh, Nick. Uh, I've just been like going between Zelda and Mario Kart, like everybody else replaying the Switch, um, Zelda and Switch, so like that. I felt like I, you know, I skipped it the first time, so I feel kind of bad. So I'm making up for that. And uh, in a couple of, I, I rented Injustice Two, so I'm gonna play that pretty soon. I will eventually buy the game when they decide to come out with their game of the year edition. Because come on, let's face it, you know what's gonna happen. They always yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> they always do. I'll, I'll rent it because I, I kind of want to play the story mode. But other than that, eh, not much really going on. Oh, okay. Uh, what about you, uh, Sinister? Uh, it's mostly Fist of the North Star, uh, Ken's Rage 2. I beat the story mode like a couple weeks ago. I'm going to the dream mode with some of the characters. And, of course, then I got, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try this, Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, so I'll have fun with that. Uh, that's basically the only two I've played, you know, so okay. far. Okay. Pretty cool. Well, I guess the games I've been playing, been playing you know, Mario Kart, been taking it to work. Um, played a little bit of Tetris. Uh, that game is pretty, pretty addicting too. Y'all should try it after I hadn't bought it. Uh, well, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, played a little bit of Madden '97 on my Sega Saturn. I just bought Sega Saturn uh, a few days ago, um, so I'm gonna start Sega Saturn hunting as far as the, the game. It's gonna be very, very hard because it's uh, it's rare getting Sega Saturn games like. Uh, Panzer yeah. Dragon and a stall like you. I don't know if y'all heard of a stall, but that was a really great yeah. game. That game was yeah. Really oh, good. Don't forget, get your memory card. You can get some of the play the imports on there. Yeah, yeah, but man, I just this stuff is so damn expensive, man. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a stall. Uh, I want to uh, get Panzer Dragon one and two, uh, Bug Bug one and two, Bug just uh, not the not the second book, but the first book is so expensive on Amazon, eBay. Uh, they trying to charge four hundred dollars for bug. I was like, man, fuck that shit. Yeah, uh, did you ever get a Virtual Fighter? I had Virtual Fighter two. I have it. Uh, yes, yeah, I, 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 I got all of them. Yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm just it's, I'm gonna slowly uh, collect some retro stuff. But like I say, man, uh, maybe we ought to, yeah, you know, just just talking talk about all this retro stuff and you know playing some of this stuff. Just got me just want to go back into it. Just leave modern gaming alone because. I don't know. Maybe we ought to talk about this uh, in our uh, later during the show about Ubisoft, what they're planning on doing, and their stance on single player games and multiplayer. Because it's just to a point that I, I'm just sick and tired of this gaming industry fucking us in the ass. They more worried about <laughs> microtransactions and season passes than giving us what we actually want. Uh, so yeah, we, we might take a talk about that. So that's basically the games I've been playing uh, this past week. So. I guess um I, I know Alex I know I know you said that um you know with this PlayStation Switch whatever uh you think it's a good idea I, I I think it's a good idea too but is it a good idea for Sony um if you want to look at the business aspects is it a good idea to break out another hardware like three years in a row We've got you know the slim and the VR and the the Pro and and this Whatever this thing is going to be called, I know a lot of people uh, speculate that they will show hardware at E3 to, to rain on Microsoft's parade when they show in the Scorpio. What well, then again, it doesn't surprise me because uh, Sony, they are known to rain on everybody's parade and copy everybody's ideas. That's, just, that's, just, that's what they do all the time. Uh, but as, as far as this so-called PlayStation Switch, don't get me wrong, I'm excited because I would love to play a lot of PlayStation games on the go. You know, I'm, I'm a gamer. Like, I know a lot of Nintendo guys will hate this, hate the idea, you know, because they think they might, you know, cut into Nintendo's market on the hybrid console. But I think I think it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, but I guess, Alex, what, what's, what's your stance on this PlayStation Switch? Is it is it uh, good for gaming? Is it good for PlayStation? Is it bad for Nintendo and their fan base? Like, what, what what's your stance on this? Um, it's it's gonna happen. Like, the Switch is obviously a proven concept. It's super popular, mm -hmm. and every time Nintendo does something that's popular, Sony's there. They copy it. They <laughs> they do their own version of it. It's just what it is. It's, it's smart business. And, like, there's clearly a demand for a, a device that you can plug into your TV and take around with you and continue gaming. So why wouldn't Sony want to take advantage of that? As far as them, like, bringing out too much hardware, this is different, though, because it's a portable device as well. It's not just a standalone 
console. It's not like them being out a PS5 a year after the PS4 Pro. <laughs> that would be fucking suicide. Oh, yeah. But this is a completely different device, so I don't think it'd be a big deal. Uh, I don't know if they would put all their games onto it. Like, it'd be interesting if they could get PS4 power into their version, because they, they would definitely make it more powerful than the Switch, because Sony likes to be more powerful. Uh, but, yeah, it's not like it would hurt them, really, because they've, they've dabbled in handheld before with, like, the PSP and the PS Vita. Vita, obviously, not so much of a success. But they could take the Vita concept, update it a little bit, and let you plug it to the TV. Maybe even have some PS4 streaming to it, too. Like, there's a lot of options there. So, I, I think it'd be cool if they did it. I think they will. Like, I, you're, you probably won't see it at this E3, because that's, that's a little fast. Mm-hmm. But uh, you'll see it soon enough. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess um, I'm gonna ask the people in the chat. I want to make, oh. sh- make sure that our our audio is even the match because there have been some issues. So what? 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 Um, where like the one named Shadow points out that uh, Smash Brothers was a copy of the out a copy of a game called the Out Foxies. As true as that may be, I can guarantee you that nobody fucking heard the Out Foxies until until Smash uh, until like PlayStation All Stars came out and everybody was like, oh well, they just they're, they're copying Smash Brothers and everybody's like everybody looked for this game that Smash Brothers had the copy of. And like, like nobody heard of this game until All Stars came out, and they needed for an argument to, sh- to prove that that uh that Smash Brothers <clears throat> stole an idea from somebody. How sad. <laughs> right. Okay, I guess. Chad, but like, it's uh, not just the one game. It's like you yeah. can even look at the Wii Motes. Sony brought out those little dildos. They do <laughs> it all the time. Yeah. Time. yeah. I, know I just want to point that out real quick. Yeah, they 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 make something that's, uh, six Microsoft did with the Kinect, and you just use your whole yeah. button. Yeah. At least with Microsoft, the Connect was something different. Like the those PlayStation moves were a direct copy. Oh yeah, basically. Yeah, but those things were a joke, a piece of junk. Yeah, they're junk, they're trash. But like those were like a direct copy. Yeah, Whereas things, Microsoft, um, at least, their Connect things, um, was something different. They're more expensive than the Wii Motes too, man. Those things are fuck. Hell no. Yeah, especially yeah. you know with the VR and it's using you know they brought those things back from the dead. It's like really? It's like who would oh, pay yeah. hundred dollars for this piece of shit? Yeah, it's gonna collect dust and weeds. Yeah. Uh, I, I uh, guess like, uh, I don't know why they decided to have. That I, I again, guess so. Uh, y'all, y'all, I know, I know, y'all can't really tell me about the audio, but everybody in the chat, y'all, what's what's the audio looking like? It's it's my voice overlapping nerds. I'm trying to make sure that we got we on an even um, uh, playing field. So how's the audio in the chat? Because we had a little issue last week. I'm, I'm going to keep my headphones off for now. I'm not doing no podcast without the headphones. That's why we having a lot of echoes and stuff. Uh, first guy said audio is good. It's audio good. is good. Audio is all right. Do I? Uh, it seems okay. Oh, it's okay? Okay. That's, that's huh? cool. It's looking good so far. Yeah, okay, they're cool. all saying it's equal. It's good. Okay, cool. Because sometimes, like, my voice be overlapping the house, man. Yeah, you can just leave the settings the way they are now because they seem to no, be okay. like I guess sometimes I, I accidentally turn up my my volume on OBS. That's that's what it that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Dark Star, what what you think about this so called PlayStation Switch? Are you for it or against it? Is it good for gaming? Is it good for Nintendo? Well, I won't say it's good for Nintendo. Is it good for Sony? Like, how, what what was your stance on it? Are you salty since you're a Nintendo fan, or you just don't give a damn? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, damn. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Sony fan too. I love I love Sony games, but I don't think this is for this to come out at E3. I don't think that part is true. I'm pretty sure Sony was probably dabbling in the handheld space, seeing how 3DS was dominating this entire generation, regardless of the PS4 success. So I'm sure that they were working on a handheld variant of the you know PS Vita or PS4, whatever you want to call it. And now that they see that Switch is pretty much what they've been working on and seeing how successful it's been, it's, they're thinking, okay, now that we've, you know, Nintendo tested the waters for us, that's a good sign to say, okay, maybe we should actually go on with this and do our own version of the Switch. Mm-hmm. So I think that they're probably working on it. I don't think it's a bad thing for gamers at all. I think it might be a little bit too much hardware for Sony to be manufacturing. I mean, this, the Pro, the VR headset, and now this, this thing, it's, it's a lot of stuff that they're trying to make. And they, this stuff isn't free. This, that's going to be costing them a lot of money. So if this thing fails, 
you know, or if it bombs like the VR or the Pro, it, that's not going to be looking good for Sony at all. So I think the biggest risk is, is on their shoulders for this thing. But it's good for us. I'm fine with it. Okay. Uh, what about you, Nick? Um, the only thing I'm going to find funny about this is when the Switch was announced, you know you had all these Sony guys sitting there saying, ah, that's Nintendo, more of their gimmicky crap. Yep. They don't care. Yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> and what the hell do you think is going to happen if Sony comes out and, and, and introduces the PlayStation Shift or something like that? They're going to lose their fucking shit. They're going to act like it's the greatest thing they've ever seen. They're going to act like Sony invented it. Even Nintendo didn't invent this. They took the idea from something else. Oh, but yeah. they're gonna act like they're, they're gonna act like like Sony invented it. Oh, they're they're doing the right thing. Oh, this is what we gamers have been wanting for a long time. And try to ignore the fact that it's already been done a few times over, even before Nintendo came along and did the, did the concept. Mm-hmm. But other than that, um, I would look forward to it if it's priced decently, <clears throat> decently, and. Uh, and has a good line of games that I'm interested in, I'd, I'd go for it. I'd get it. Shit. <laughs> okay. Not gonna hate. <laughs> <laughs> I never hate. All right, so you got on that? Yeah. All right, what about you, sir? So what's your stance on it? All right, Um. first off, I mean, Nintendo's had it lost when it comes to the handheld, and plus with the success of the Switch, I was like, okay, Sony's gonna say, hey, man, we gotta start our game up on this. So yeah. they figured, they, you know, they'll go for the third try on this because, you know, Okay, the, the PSP, you know, it did great, but it, you know, but it still can't crack Nintendo's armor. Then they came with the Vita, which didn't do so high because, you know, some of the games were on. I mean, there probably a few decent games on there, but you know, just it wasn't enough. I mean, it just didn't sell well. And so, I, to me, you know, some may have that little stigma of the Vitas or, or the handheld thing in general. It's like, uh, but, uh, if they, you know, if they, you know, learn from their mistakes, but hey, and, you know, you know, you know, you never know. I mean, they can do well if it if it sucks. I mean, that's that's a lot. Of, you know, it's a huge fail on them because you know, mm-hmm. you know, they fail in that aspect. You know, you should focus where your strength is. Like it's the PS4, that's where you that's where your money's at. You should never release the Pro. You should never release the, the VR, the Slim, or all the any of that. Just focus on just the original PS4 is doing the, you know, is bringing you money, and bringing those exclusives to the system. That's what people, you know, come to the PlayStation for. So uh, that's just my stance on that. Oh, yeah, I agree with you. I, I guess except the Slim, because we always get a Slim version every generation, so that's pretty much expected. But yeah. you know, as far as just concentrate on the PS4 in general, yeah, I agree with that, man. The VR, like, basically the, um, the general public already uh, let, you know, Sony know that we're not ready for that, like, like it's it's a gimmick, just like they say with Nintendo, uh, with, with their with their gimmicks, like it's a gimmick. Uh, it's just this gimmick with Nintendo, it worked this time. Uh, the Wii U didn't work. Uh, the, the VR with the with the PS4, their gimmick didn't work. It didn't work, so it it's, it is what it is. Uh, so basically, yeah, I honestly think that if they would never came up the PS4 Pro and the VR, and I, I think the PlayStation Switch would be it would be really great. But if they come out with another iteration of hardware, that's going to look bad on Sony. And a lot of people going to start comparing them to Sega, what they did with the <clears> Genesis <throat> with the 32X and the CD. And it depends how they all. handle it, though. Because, like, if it, if it plays every game that the PlayStation 4 plays, mm-hmm. then maybe it'll be a problem to people. So, oh, you, you could have gave me this handheld version before. Mm-hmm. But if it's its own thing with its own games, I don't think people would care too much. Yeah. No, for me, I don't care too much, but, like, you know, you see, I, I own just by all the consoles. I have a lot of consoles. I just love video games. I would, I would see myself getting that because I I bought a PlayStation Vita because, honestly, that's, like, a yeah. really good console, a really good handheld console. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just a lot of people just didn't gravitate toward it because uh, with, with the Vita, like, they had, it's like... It's good if um, you want some Japanese games. That's yeah, about if it, you though. want Japanese games, but a lot of people wanted like that that with the Vita it has like a lot of console experience on the go in which it just we wasn't ready for that and people they would you know they right. basically saying that I'd rather play my Call of Duties and Assassin's Creed and all that stuff at home instead of on, on the go so basically will it do a lot better this time if they come out with a PlayStation Switch I think so especially if they could get all the third part support like the Vita it didn't get all the third part support it was lacking a lot uh, so 
I, I think it's a good idea, especially if they if they get all the games from the the triple A's, the the, uh, the first party game, every game that they, if Sony is planning on putting on the PS4, the, the standard PS4, they put on the, on the PS4 ship, the Switch, whatever you call it. I think it'll do good. Yeah. It, it might not. It might not. Uh, they could even just call it the PS4 portable. Yeah. 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 Then you have the PS4 Pro, PS4 Slim, PS4 Portable, PSVR, yeah. like, like, PSVR, which no one wants. But I, I think like with all these hardwares that Sony have brought out, it just it just doesn't make them look too good if they bring out another one, especially if the PS5 comes out next year with all these damn rumors. If the PS5 comes out next year and the PS4 oh, no. uh, uh, Portable no, comes out. Stupid. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's, that's it, death it, right it, there. That's what I'm saying. Well, it depends on something. Like the Pro was a mistake. They shouldn't have made the Pro. They should have waited the extra year. Yeah, exactly. Save you some, save them some money. Just put the money in yeah, the they, they, that's where they, they should have just used that resource for the PS5. Or the, yeah, P, or the like, PS4 slip, shift, whatever. Or whatever they want to call it. But, like, the PS4 Pro, it's such a half-ass fucking console. It's like a waste of everyone's time. Yeah, basically. I don't know. They, they made a huge mistake making that thing. Yeah, nobody bought it. Exactly. I, mean, I mean, I mean, heck, they're sitting on top. I mean, no, no need to be making stupid exactly. mistakes. Exactly, like, like they're they're leading the pack by such a huge margin. Like, why the fuck are you running out, <laughs> pumping out more consoles? Like, it doesn't their, make any sense. It's, it's their ego, Al. <laughs> it's, hey, uh, it's basically yeah. our good, it's their ego. Our good buddy, Guru the Legends. He said, "You Nintendo got starting to sound like Xbox." That's just saying. How? <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> Everybody has their ball. Like, it's true, though. Like, wouldn't you have, like, Garuda, you, would you not have preferred them to wait the extra year and give you a proper upgraded console, not some half assed Pro? Well, like, come on. Support. Like, the, the Pro is an underwhelming console because they rushed it out. Like, yeah. it's the same shit we've been talking about with the Switch. It's like it's missing a lot of features because they rushed it out. It's the same yeah. fucking thing. But these guys rushed out a whole fucking console and made it half assed. Basically, exactly. It's like it was the same year as the uh, the slim. It was like, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that was. Uh, I don't know what they're thinking. They should have just had the slim, and then the PS, the real PS4 Pro next year. They say, exactly. They said the Pro is yeah. on point. Don't be a, don't be jealous uh, with your 720 <laughs> Switch. <laughs> the Pro is what? not on point. The Pro <laughs> can't even do. The Pro can't even do 60 FPS on all games. Like, it's fucking trash, man. The PS4 is on point. Like, <laughs> the PS4 is a, it's a yeah, good Yeah, the standard system. PS4 yeah, is fine. They should have left them alone. They were going for them. Like, it's just yeah. like if Nintendo keep coming out with all these damn consoles in one generation, I would get heated. I'm just being honest. Like, you know, Nintendo, they don't, they don't do this stuff like that. Just be honest. Uh, I guess, uh, anybody else? Anything else to say before we get off this uh, subject and piss off uh, our good pony, get rid of the legends? <laughs> I just don't see how it's going to be possible for them to support all these different platforms. It's just not. I, I don't see how that's going to work. Like, I, I don't see neither. I, I see another Sega situation, man. Exactly. Like if, if the if the Slim were to come out, let's say this year, for example, end of this year, for example, and then what happens to the PS5? How are you going to support the PS4, mm -hmm. PS5, and this this handheld that you're doing? There's just there's yeah. there's too much. It's way too much. Yeah, it, yeah, it is the too thing much. is, you're screwing consumers. Like you know, because people want a PS4 because you know they heard all these amazing wow. things. They see all the you know the games coming out, the exclusives. That's what they want. Then you come out with a PS5. It's like what? I just dropped money on a PS4. You coming out with a five already? Maybe, maybe they maybe the PS5 need to be like this this Nintendo or this PlayStation Switch. Maybe they can make that a Switch, whatever the PS5. Like I don't want no more hardware for the PS4. Like they they doing good the way they're all right now. They're doing good. Just leave it alone. Like stop trying to fix something that is not broken. That's what exactly. just drives me crazy. Like, yeah, exactly. They're sitting well on top. No need to do anything else. Just sell. Just make the game. Sell the game. Like, like, you know, people. So, Sony has been doing so good this year that they don't need to. They don't need to. They're release. so far ahead. They don't they, they need don't, to worry about anybody. Like, I mean, I mean, stop the fuckery. I mean, just <laughs> sell the games, make the games, sell the games. That's it. Like people would buy them. They've been up on what they're like. I, I get, like I get them being worried about the Switch because it's a new concept, like the the hybrid thing. But like, there there really isn't a reason for them to be scared of the Scorpio. Like, let's be real here. No. They're both gonna get the same games. They're both gonna look relatively the same. And they're like thirty million consoles ahead of so of uh, Xbox or twenty million, <laughs> something like that. It's like. They don't need to worry about a niche console. There's no need to rush out the pro. Like that's why I never understood why they rushed the pro like that. 
That's that. It's that fear. You said that key word, fear. Fear. Yeah, I guess they're scared, but I don't really see I mean, why they're scared so to be far afraid ahead. of. It. I mean, you're sitting well on top of it. You're afraid like yeah. someone's gonna sneak in there and knock you up and you know, king in the mountain. Something you like think about Philly D has a has a bunch of IPs he's just been hiding this whole time. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. If they if they do that, man, they, that tells me that they're getting really cocky on how Sega got cocky. Uh, back it wasn't when when the Saturn came out. Back in the ninety. Saturn came out in ninety four, but the yeah, Sega it's like the Sega C D, the Saturn and thirty two X came out right by each other. Like Yeah, like, 90, 93, 94, 95. Yeah. Yeah, like they they don't wanna do that, man. Like yeah. No, they they're, 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 they're sitting on top, man. Don't get me wrong. Like if say if they if they would have just hold a lot of resources and put everything towards the Saturn and you know and don't do the second CD and the thirty two X and put all that towards the Saturn, I think the Saturn would have actually competed with the sixty four and the PlayStation. And Sega maybe would have still been here. They lost a lot of money on that shit. So yeah, I'm, the, I'm not... the mistake was yeah, but there was another mistake. They released that console during the springtime. Like it came out May ninety five. Yeah, I mean, you released it in a month where you know where kids are getting out of school. And that that's right into vacation season, right? Yeah. They were worried about the PlayStation. Yeah. PlayStation was smart. Now, you know that September, kids are back in school. The fall is a great time to release consoles. Yeah. Lead right into the holidays. Yeah, basically. So I don't know, man. I, I we've been talking about this too much, man. Don't get me wrong. Like I like the concept. <laughs> I would like for this to be Sony's next generation hardware. That would be really cool. That would but. Be dope. but yeah. This generation? No, no, just too much, man. I invest too much money on my PlayStation. No more, no more, man. Okay, yeah. um, okay, let's talk about this. This is not gonna take long. This uh, scale bound. Um, Microsoft trademarked it. It's really not much to say. Uh, but I really hope that this series is still alive. Hopefully, they won't take too long. I, I and you know the the problem with that is if this series is still alive. Platinum Games is not gonna make it. Like who's yeah. gonna who's gonna make the game? Like that this that, that game fits so perfectly for Platinum Games to make it. So I'm kind of kind of probably gonna revamp the whole thing. I, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Like I, I I'm glad they trademarked it, but then again, you know, we didn't already we've been there done that with with Internal Darkness with Nintendo been trademarking that for years, and we don't know what the hell they trying to do with that series. Um, hopefully they give us some kind of details of e3 telling us that the series is still alive like i don't know i hate for them to keep trademarking this stuff and we we it, it just sits there just ip just sits there for years you know same with, with sega they, they got a shit load of ips just sitting there but we're gonna get to that yeah. in, in a few uh but <laughs> alex what you think about the scale bell i know we was all hyped about that for years and soon uh marks all pulled that bitch move we just been so freaking pissed and now that they trademarked it like is there a little hope that we might get it and if we will get it, who do you think is going to develop it, uh, develop the game? Since Platinum Games is basically, you know, they're somewhere else. They're not going to do it. Yeah, they're not going to give it back to Platinum. Like, that, that ship has sailed, unfortunately. Uh, this seems like that they're just keeping the trademark alive. Like, they're just keeping the name. Um, so they're not actually working on the game, at least not right now. That The door is always open because they do own the IP. But as of right now, it seems like the same situation with Nintendo and Eternal Darkness. They just keep renewing it, but they're not doing anything with it, uh, just for the sake of owning the name. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as who they could pass it off to, like, they'd probably want to keep it in-house. Like, they don't have that many teams, but they have Rare, which really isn't doing jack shit other than uh, Sea of Thieves. <laughs> So, like, they could make it, I guess. The Coalition are busy making the next couple Gears of War games. 343 is making mm -hmm. Halo games, so they're tied up. They, they don't really have any other teams to do stuff, so it would kind of have to be rare, <clears throat> unless they want to outsource it. But I don't know if they want to after the whole Platinum situation, so who knows. But, and, like, I hope it does get made, but, like, it's not going to be the same game that we saw. It's not going to be those old crazy dragons and the Dante looking transforming dude and all action oriented. That's a platinum game. Yeah. What we're going to get who fucking knows, but it isn't going to be what we wanted. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what they, what they, what they trying to do, man. Uh, it's just not looking too good when it comes to their exclusives, man. Uh, that's all you got on there. Yeah. Like we'll see I don't think they're going to talk about it at E3. Okay. It's too soon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about you, Darkstar? 
I mean, I, I I almost bought an Xbox One for this one game, so right. I was excited to see that was coming back. I kind of feel like, like Alex said, definitely Platinum Game is not going. They're, they're not fucking with Japanese de- developers anymore. They're they're done. <laughs> they're done with those guys. So that it's probably going to get outsourced because I just don't see unless Microsoft, you know, is thinking about buying a whole new studio just for this one game. And this is what's going to be on the horizon for like the years to come. Mm-hmm. Unless they do it that way, I can only see it being outsourced to like you know a Western developer. But even if it does go that route, like Alex said, it's definitely not going to be the game that we saw. I don't think it's going to be as ambitious. I love platinum games and their kind of t- their types of games. I just don't think it's going to be as you know crazy over the top like like we're used to from platinum games. It's just not going to be that because no developer does it like platinum games in my opinion. So I'm afraid it's going to be something completely different. I'm afraid it's gonna be first person. I'm afraid it's gonna be online multiplayer like Call of Duty. I'm afraid it's gonna be just super dude, bro. <laughs> it's just not gonna be the same game. But that's pretty much it. All right, uh, watch you, Nick. I don't know, maybe they'll turn to a game where you're supposed to like weigh yourself and lose weight or something like that. Get it? Oh, yes. Oh god. Yes. <laughs> and they'll they'll tie it to the connect. Right. Ooh, oh, this whole thing is a mess, though. I mean. <laughs> They're like really playing yo-yo. People's feelings in this game, like they're showing it off. People are excited, and it's like, oh, we gotta cancel it, and people are mad, and like, oh, they renewed the thing, and like, I was like, oh, so we might get the game after all. Nah, we're just trying to keep the title <laughs> because fuck you. Yeah, basically, um, we came up with it, and it's ours. We're gonna hold a hostage, ha 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 ha, or some shit like that. It's just we're, we're, we're never gonna see this game. It just it's never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, just and even if. Even if they do, like Dr. Dark Star said, it's probably going to be completely different from whatever you were expecting or whatever. Like, a best, the best example I can come up with, like what it might be similar to, is uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Originally, it was supposed to be more like Metal Gear itself. Like, you know, kind of slow pace, stealthy. You got to, you, you got to, like, pretty much play it almost like. Uh, uh, Metal Gear, any Metal Gear game, except you know you have a sword this time, yeah. and then Platinum got a whole bit and, and it completely like, did the end. Well, you saw what it turned into. Well, so this is like the about. opposite of that. This would be like you know what Platinum would have done, and then they're gonna like just go completely different direction after somebody else gets a hold of it. So I don't know. Maybe they might try to make some kind of RPG out of it, but eh, I doubt it. Okay, that's all you got on that. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about you, Sinister? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I'm glad they got the IP, but I, I kind of agree with Alex. I mean, you just you know, just you know hanging on to it, just you know, just for the segment, not you know, letting then nobody else get their hands on it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna start all over because you know, like I said, they parted ways with uh, several times with you know Platinum Games because you know it just didn't work out for them. So, so they're just, hey, we're just gonna hold on for it for the time being. You know, hopefully, you know. We'll talk to some studio who's going to work on it, but um, I mean, yeah, I mean, because I like, ain't you no know, like almost everybody, you know, they weren't excited to play it, and then boom, they dropped the hammer. It's like cancel city. I was like, Shh. <laughs> but anyways, but uh, moving fast forward, but you know, if, if it does get made, and you know, I hope they take their time and do it right, probably do well. But you know, even though it's not going to look the same, I mean, just pretty much you're not going to see this Dante look a lot knockoff. You know, with headphones, with a sword, and stuff like that, it could be you know totally different dude, different personality. You never know, but I mean, I hope it does well. And like I said, take their time on it, do it right, things like that. So, but um, that's all I have on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I really don't know who to think of, um, think of to make a game like Scalebound because Platinum Game fits perfectly for that style, that type of that uh, type of uh, game. So. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe Capcom, since they do um, that um, Devil May Cry, maybe they can fit with that type of game. Maybe, but I don't. I can't think of anybody else to do a scale band. I don't know, man. Just Microsoft. They. I don't know. Like what. maybe Team Ninja. But yeah, okay. yeah, Team Ninja five back. Yeah, yeah, Team Ninja. Yeah. They can do yeah. it. They're pretty good. Yeah, get a Gaki to work on. Get a wherever studio he works at now. Or what the own. fucking uh, what the hell was that shitty game on the Wii U? You mean Devil Star? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. That game was a. That game was a joke. That, <laughs> that game was a joke. I don't know what the hell that shit was, but yeah, man. Like, I don't know, man. 
I, 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 I love the fact that the IP is still alive, but I really wanted Platinum Games to make that. That it fits yeah. perfect with them, so I don't know what to say. Right. Just, just come. Real, real Breaker is saying like Insomniac Games, like they made um, Sunset Overdrive. They, they would make a good game, but like they don't seem to like Microsoft that much. Yeah, especially with, you know nobody oh, yeah. supported. The so I don't know. If it they, wouldn't sell. Microsoft <laughs> came to them. Yeah, it wouldn't sell, and they probably like wouldn't want to work on a Microsoft exclusive again, anyways. Working yeah. on a PlayStation exclusive right now, so mm. that's how you know. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Platonic? No, thank you, not Platonic. <laughs> they so, can't even make ukulele. Dang. <laughs> Anybody play ukulele yet? Anybody? No. No? Oh, okay. No. Okay, I guess let's go to the next subject. Um, I guess we can squeeze Ubisoft in there. Um, I guess Ubisoft, they was, um, I think they got five games planned for this year, and next year they're planning on... Four games. They plan on releasing four games, but they are expecting a lot more revenue to come in next year. So y'all know exactly what that mean. Uh, that mean they're going to fuck us in the ass even more. And they, <laughs> and they basically made a statement about they're going to focus on um, multiplayer games more than single player games. Uh, I know with Assassin's, oh, Creed, yeah, Assassin's Creed is a single player game, but Assassin's Creed is a really popular franchise. So that ain't going nowhere anytime soon. But by them saying stuff like that, are we going to get another Raymond game? Are we going to get another um, Splinter Cell, in which I've been waiting since... Oh, um, Clancy. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I've been waiting on another Splinter Cell since, uh, was it Blacklist? I think I, Blacklist yeah, I played, was yeah. the last one. Yeah. yeah, that was the last one. I played that on the Wii U. I thought I thought it was a good game. Like, I don't know... Oh, it was okay, yeah. I don't know what, what they're what they're trying to do. Like, I, I know they got the Ghost Recon and uh, what else? Uh, the Divi- Division. They did the Division. Division is their new money maker. Yeah, yeah like, pretty much it's Tom Clancy. It just threw oh, his name on there. Yeah, uh, for, for Honor, apparently, is very yeah, successful. For, yeah, for Honor, too. They yeah, that's, that too. game is printing money for them right now. Yeah, because so, that, that game has, like, $700 worth of microtransactions. That's what's, so yeah. wor- that's what's worrying me, man. Like, uh, there's nothing wrong with multiplayer games, but if their mm. focus is just multiplayer game experiences and not enough single player games then that's going to be a issue for me and a lot of y'all that love single player experience and that's yeah, going to drive but... it's going to drive a lot of y'all to go to playstation because playstation is known to have single player experiences they are known right. to have diversified lineup of games look uh, at rainbow six siege yeah yeah, yeah so. it's just, it's just multiplayer yeah, yeah that, that, it was done by them as multiplayer it's like but it, they had a great single player like with the vegas series and they Totally I, did I, away with. I love the Vegas yeah. series. That's why they threw it out. They just threw it out. They when just I, got rid of it. When, they I, when, when, when I heard the Rainbow Six Siege was going uh, to be online only, I was like, man, fuck this shit. Like, damn, how many of these games are going to have? Yeah, I refused to play it. Yeah, same thing. I'm, yes, I'm not same you know what Battlefront you know? No. But, but Battlefront did that same. But the, the deal with that is mm-hmm. people is buying this shit. The people is buying Yeah, that's the shit. worst just, part. People are buying this and they're buying up the microtransactions. Yes. That shit that's hurts amazing. all of us. Yeah. Now you're getting full price full price games with microtransactions is becoming a norm because of these fucking casual idiots. So you really can't blame Ubisoft. You can't blame none of these developers. You can't the blame you Ubisoft can't. for this because as business. far as they're concerned, this is what people want. Yeah, hey, it's your money. It's, it's not what I want, but it's just stuff like that got me digging back into the retro game because it's a lot of single player experience on retro gaming, man. And don't get me wrong, I love I, I love multiplayer games, but I love single player experience more. I'm more Ubisoft I mean, has like out. good single player games like Beyond Good and Evil Two. They have the uh, the Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed series used to be just uh, single player. Yeah, they have but... Prince of Persia, which was fucking dead at this point. Yeah, and yeah. Sale. Another, you know, another IP that's sitting on you know collecting dust. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what to say. Like, anymore. Throw, throw Prince of Persia out on the Switch. <laughs> give everybody else Assassin's Creed and see what happens. Like shit. I guess, man. Yeah, yeah man, where the hell? Is. Where the fuck is our Child of Light Two? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, what's going on with that game? I actually was smart, like, you know this. What happened to that studio? I like the studio that just game. disappeared. Yeah, because I mean, they so, were smart, uh, but the assassins were not doing it yearly now because you know, because you know, Unity sucked because it was a glitch. Yeah, like there's no reason Assassin's Creed should be every year. Like that's a big game. Yeah, basically. You know, like I tell you, to learn their lesson, let's space it out. But unlike you know, yeah. their rivals at Activision. <laughs> Like as far as I can see, the only like single player driven game they have coming this year is the South Park game. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, otherwise, yeah. there's the the crew is coming, and then um, oh, who God. asked for? I can't the believe crew. that they greenlit a crew too. Like but <laughs> but that's, so that's coming. Bad. Yeah, crew there's one a Far Cry was, Five. Um... 
Mm-hmm. Crew one was garbage. Like what? What? Who? Who asked for crew? The crew two? was trash. It was who really trash. It reviewed it? terribly. It was poorly played. It was really. I don't know. I didn't how. see anybody playing the crew, but apparently they claim they made money on it. So I don't know what to say about that. I, I, I guess, know. man, it's, it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I guess let's um get our our feedback on this. Um, I guess start with you, Sims. What, what you think about Ubisoft? They basically said they, they expecting to make more money next year by releasing fewer games. So you know exactly what that means. What, 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 what do you think about Ubisoft and your stance on this single player experience, uh, these single player games in which uh, they are lacking? They not even uh, making that their focus anymore. What do you think? Like, are you are you pissed off, or, or do you like a lot of multiplayer experience, or you want both? For me, I like them. You know, I have a, ba- a balance of both. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just again, I mean, to me, when it comes to stuff like that, I don't want to have one without the other. I mean, like I said, the prime example was uh, Rainbow Six Siege. It's like I want nothing that's all multiplayer. Yeah. And it has to be online. Screw that shit. No, I mean, I just want to, you know, fight their games that have a good story. You know, play the story more than go to, you know, play online. It's like. Of course, a lot of people don't, you know, just say screw the story and just, you know, go multi, but, but that's their choice. But for mm-hmm. me, uh, as far as like, you know, releasing fewer games, but I, like I said, I praise them for learning their lesson about Assassin's Creed, you know, hey, cut back mm-hmm. on that to say, just space them out and say, hey, if they have to do fewer games, so be it. But as long as they do it right, mm-hmm. I like, hey, I give, them, I give them their props on it. But but the thing is, uh, it's, to me, this is not looking good for them. For the fun you know, time being, but as far as some of their games are going, I mean, yeah, like Ghost Recon, you know, I love that because you know, got the Tom Clancy name on it, but uh, stuff like that, you know, they, some of their IPs, you know, like you know, Alex said by Prince of Persia, and like bringing you know, bring it to the Switch you know, or any other system, bring it back from the dead, you know, stuff like that. Nice. But, but um, yeah, that's all I have on that. Yeah, even stuff like uh, Red Sea. Whoa, echo, like, whoa, echo, whoa, echo, whoa, echo, whoa, echo, echo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Y'all <guys are> sure. <laughs> who's who's that? <laughs> Damn, that was a massive echo, man. <laughs> that must have been Nick. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right, all right. I was on mute. Try again. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Okay. That's all you got on that, oh, sister. Okay. Let's uh. Let's go with you. Um. What, 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 do you, what do you think about this, Nick? What do we think? Do you think Ubisoft should, should be more balanced when it comes to single player and multiplayer, or you don't give a fuck? Um, Ubisoft, you know what? Fuck Ubisoft. Damn. <laughs> just I don't know. Like what we were talking about earlier, where they want to do less actual games and just do more microtransaction. They're gonna come up with a fucking game called micro microtransaction the game or some shit like that. That's not good that they want to focus more on microtransactions than making actual games or they'll... They might as well just make cell phone games at this point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a practice that works better on cell phones and mobile than actual, like, like console or PC games. So, I don't know. At least if they're going to do it that way, they should at least give out the core game for free. <laughs> Yeah, yeah like, like exactly. Yeah. How are you gonna charge people sixty dollars and then fill your game with microtransactions? Yeah, it's yeah, like, oh. like leave it on the cell phones, like you, not, just like you said. I mean. But like, oh, here's here's the free game. You want to unlock the story? Twenty dollars. You want to unlock yeah. the characters? Oh, Five dollars a character, some oh. shit like that. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, shouts out to we had seventy plus watching a while ago. Uh, I yeah, think like, it went, it went to like it went to like seventy one people viewing, so that's a new record for this podcast. So appreciate nice. the appreciate the love, people. Appreciate the love. Let's get more people out here. Uh, make sure you like. Make sure you share. Get some more people over here. Uh, I think the, the you know what's funny. Yeah. Go ahead. It's uh, like I guess Drone Crusher is doing a live stream right now too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just saw that. Oh, <laughs> I only got thirty people watching. We're killing them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on that, Drone Crusher. Drone Crusher getting drone crushed. Oh. Crusher Ain't has it. become the crush. <laughs> All right, uh, since you gave me your stance, Nick, uh, what do you what do you think, Darkstar? What you think about this single player and multiplayer with Ubisoft? They plan on releasing fewer games, more microtransactions, more dicks in the booty hole. What do you think, man? Like, it's just it's gonna get worse from here. That's why games like Beyond Good and Evil Two are taking so long to come out because there's no way to put. I, I mean, I guess they could force them in there, but yeah, games like those they aren't gonna make money like Siege, like For Honor for them. And yeah. it sucks because I really wanted 
more like I like Ubisoft whenever whenever they come up with new IPs because they're they're pretty creative. But the problem is whenever they do that, it's usually the same format as far as like the like the online or the microtransactions. It's always always the same format, and that's what kills the game for me. Yeah. Like I don't want to have to go in and fight somebody who paid three hundred dollars to get all this extra shit, and I'm just trying to have some fun. He's kicking my like that's not fun. That's not fun mm-hmm. for anybody. I don't know why they're focusing so hard on it, other than I guess money. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna stop. Is the more people buy into this stuff, the more it's gonna happen. Yeah. I don't. They're gonna have less and less focus on single player, and it, they're gonna get away with it because that's what people want. Yeah, that's yeah. really sad. It is sad. Like no, just you... it's just just crooks. I mean, it's hiding the like content behind a paywall and yeah. microtransactions and stuff like that. It's just yeah. I just I mean, like, like wish people had a little more self control. Like, yeah, especially with their these people just I mean, fall for it's these, everything. It's these casuals that's ruined it for us. Like, I love to play everything. Like, for instance, I, yeah. I, love, I love Street Fighter. But I, I'm not going to sit here and play Street Fighter every freaking day. So, basically, whenever Capcom talking about us going to be online only, I was like, okay, like, I like to play other games. I'm not going to sit here and practice every day until I get my ass whooped online. Like... That's why you need, you need you need an arcade, you know, for games like that. You need single player experience so you can play against the the computer. So when you when you play against these people that that freaking lives on this game, you you don't even have a chance in hell to beat them. Yeah. So that's why I hate yes. this new direction this game is zero. Yeah. Going having to. no life. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm the, saying. <laughs> Like I love, I, I love to play other games, sports games, uh, hack and slash, JRPGs. Like I love just video games in general. So with this new, this new focus that this gaming industry is going towards, I'm not liking, man. I really hope that we will. That, that's, that's that's why I'm really respecting Sony for what they're doing. Like a lot of these games that was released this year was a lot of single player experience, like Persona Five, yeah. Near Automata, Yakuza. That was a lot of good games. That and came then you look at Zelda: Breath, Breath of the Wild, and it shits on every fucking game that came out this generation. Yeah, but like we're just not getting enough of those kind of games. Yeah, let's not forget Horizon Zero Dawn, another great yeah, single player. Horizon experience. Zero Dawn, another good single player only game. Like yeah. Witcher Three, another good single player only game you need these kind of games yeah like shadow mordor and then you get the upcoming shadow war and stuff like that like how, how many fucking multiplayer games do you need like they're all the same <laughs> they are yeah it is all the same yeah. shit that's that's what's so oh my god that's what's so annoying to me is. it's like yeah we got another online shooter like okay we didn't have like fucking 30 other ones to choose from already yeah, yeah like millions of them. Yeah, just like with, with call of duty like you know i know a lot of people buy call of duty just to put a multiplayer experience i really bought for the i like the player. campaigns of the call of duty i like the, I, I want to play for the campaign and the multiplayer yeah. plus I play yeah a i do campaign bit. first for multiplayer i, yeah. play, I, I play the multiplayer a yeah. little bit but i'm not gonna live on it even though i get my ass whooped on a lot because i don't live on it i don't live on it right so that's why we need a single player uh you need we need campaigns a good campaign no no bullshit in, in which we've been getting, uh, especially so it's our generation. We've been getting a lot of bullshit. Let's just be honest. A lot of these uh, games that was origin originally had single player, like uh, Battlefront, you know, uh, Rainbow Six, and all this bullshit. And that it's like they focusing on multiplayer. And just looking at the fact that Tom Clancy is a storyteller, why, why the hell are they are they using this this man's name to make only multiplayer experience, but not a good single player story mode? I, I just don't. I, I just it's, don't understand. I don't understand. It's, 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 it's stupid. That's all it is. The solely in his name, just just for the almighty dollar. But he's a storyteller. Like where where is the where's the story? It's not a story. It's a campaign. I mean, I mean it's it's a, it's a multiplayer. It's not a story. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand. It's, it's stupid. That's why I'm just not respecting this gaming industry right now. That's why I've been shit on this gaming industry. That's why I've been retro collecting a lot because I'm going back to retro, man. And speaking of retro, um, oh, did, oh, did I get to you, Alex, about this uh, subject? Huh? Did I get to you about this? I don't care. <laughs> uh, well, I was watching something. Which one? Which one are we on? Uh, the Ubisoft and the Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the Mozart Ubisoft. Yeah, well, well, what's your stance, man? Uh, I don't, I don't like it because like Ubisoft makes a lot of good single player games. So now they're making less games and concentrating more on microtransactions. That's the opposite of what should be going on. <laughs> uh, but like they're gonna do what they do because this is what's making them money now. Like they're 
super successful with with uh, Ghost Recon and then uh, For Honor. Those are doing really well because of microtransactions. Again, because these casual gamers have no self control and they just spend, 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 spend on useless nonsense like costumes and gun skins and all this other dumb shit. And the rest of us get fucked over for it. Now we get less single player games, we get less games in general. Because mm-hmm. somehow Ubisoft found a way to make less games, <laughs> but make more money. money. Oh my god. That's fucking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what what <laughs> business wouldn't do that? You can't even blame them. You can't. Nope, only the gamers. You gotta blame the gamers. Like <laughs> uh, at, at one point we're gonna get to the time where Ubisoft makes one game. And it's going to be their most profitable year ever. <laughs> That's what it's going to come to. Look at Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, but here's the thing. Yeah. But here's the thing. Man. Ubisoft is like a, you know, they're the crack dealer. Because <laughs> the, yeah. you know, the casual yeah. gamers are just buying them up. It's it's like a drug to them. Yeah, we should have had the a Grand Theft Auto. They love this shit. Man. We should have. They, they swear up and down they're like hardcore gamers and shit. But it's like you're doing the exact same thing. Some fucking soccer mom does playing Candy Crush, wasting a yeah. dollar every ten minutes on nonsense. Oh man, they they just, as bad. Of <laughs> just as bad, just as bad, even that's worse because you paid sixty dollars up front. <laughs> man, that, that's crazy. Yeah, that, that's fucking part, that, that's crazy. Pro- that's probably why the, um uh, they hadn't came out with another Grand Theft Auto game, uh, Grand Theft Auto Six, because uh, all the money they've been making on Grand Theft Auto Five. They have they been make so it much with those money. shark card things. Yes. It's free. They make so much fucking money. Yeah, they made a lot of money. That's why they, they not even yeah. Thinking like Rockstar, about well, at least with Rockstar, they only they make one Grand Theft Auto. It takes like five years to make the next one. Yeah. But like Ubisoft, they make the new version of their game like the next year. Yeah. Pretty much. So at least with Grand Theft Auto, you get a really good amount of time with Grand Theft Auto. Yes. But like they're making so much money with those fucking shark cards, and you can guarantee that that Grand Theft Auto Six will have more of that. Oh yeah. Man. Okay. I guess let's get to another subject. We still got a few more to talk about. It's only five of us, so we 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 going kind of fast. Okay. I, I know the Xbox is doing very bad when it comes to exclusives, but as far as the business practices goes, I, I'm a, I'm gonna applaud um, uh, Microsoft for what they're doing, especially when it comes to the backwards compatibility. I, I know it's <laughs> I, I know it's funny, Alex, uh, but I know a lot of what? gamers they missed out last generation, and basically uh, I know you got excited. We all got excited when uh, backwards compatibility got announced for the Xbox One. It was a plus. It was yeah. a, uh, it was a real plus. It's a it's, plus. It, yeah. it's, it's just we didn't think that. As far as exclusives, I didn't we, think it would replace yeah. the new game. <laughs> we, we didn't think, we didn't think it was. Uh, we didn't think it was going to get this dry as far as, as exclusives. But uh, with this sale that we got with the Xbox One, as far as backwards compatibility, these sales are really good. And yeah, good uh, deals. it's really good deals. And I advise nobody do not shop at GameStop these next few days. Get these yeah, games fun. while it lasts. I, I advise y'all to buy as many games as y'all can, so so y'all can teach GameStop a lesson for jacking these prices up. I'm, that's that's yeah. what, that's one thing that pissed me off. Every time there's a game announcement with backwards compatibility, they will turn a five to seven dollar game to a thirty dollar game. That will piss me the fuck off. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm saying like, I, I, if you have an Xbox One, take advantage uh, of these backwards compatibility because when I get my check tomorrow, I'm going to get a lot of them, and I'm gonna just give GameStop a big middle finger. And another uh, good thing that they did, and they, kiss uh, ass too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Too. Uh, I guess another pro consumer move uh, Microsoft did. They actually uh, released um, um, Phantom Dust free. It's free, so we can't we can't really, nobody can that dog we, shit. We, we, we can't really complain no more. It's free, man. I know we've been talking shit about the game, but it's free. So <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> I, I know you want to say some. I know you want to say some, Max. You got some smart to say. It's another microtransaction <laughs> riddle game. Like what, at, at very least, they made it free, so it's that free. makes it okay. I guess it's free. But that game is garbage. Like, come on, nobody's <laughs> even playing it. Even if it's fucking free, and nobody did it come out already? It. Yeah, it's already been out. It's out. Wow, I don't see nobody talking about it. I don't see anybody <laughs> talking about it. I don't see nobody playing it. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just basically. No, nah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. No, nah, I'm, I'm just basically <laughs> talking about the pro consumer <laughs> moves that uh, Microsoft is doing right now. So uh, I guess after that, um, yeah. ain't, there ain't really nothing. To, um, that's it. <laughs> they don't really have nothing else to say. I, I, yeah, like they're they're doing a good job with their backwards compatibility. And it's obviously successful for them because like they, uh, if they wasn't successful, they would have stopped it by now. You wouldn't see new games coming out every week. Well, new games, quote, quote unquote. But like. Uh, this is unfortunately though this is their replacement for their lack of new games which it sucks. is it is but like, at least they have stuff coming out consistently on their console even if it's old games 
Yeah, I guess. I guess. Um, anybody want to dig on this or y'all don't give a fuck? I, I, I say something about yeah, it, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, for the time being, yeah, they may not, you know, have like the new games out right now, but look, you got something to keep us busy, like the backlog and, you know, play some of these games. Like, yeah. like for some who never had a chance, you know, you know, the 360 era, you know, they never had a chance to play it. A lot of those games are on PS3 too, though. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. of course, but you know, with that sale that you know, real mentioned, of course, I mean, hey, you got some Monday, deal. a lot of good deals on that. I and mean, plus, you know, some of the free games you still get every month, like for games of gold. I mean, heck, I downloaded uh, Lego Star Wars, the complete saga, because I never had a chance to play it before. Of course, I love the Lego game, so I mean, heck, why not? But, um, uh, I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm not writing off Microsoft, but just. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, but not everybody's perfect. I mean, everybody has their everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. So, I mean, yeah. like a game is, you know, their weakness right now for the time being. But, you know, but don't count them out. <laughs> it's really hard not to count them out. But then again, like, they got the most money out of everybody Nintendo and Sony put together. So, I, I just don't know why they're struggling with first-party studios, why they're struggling with stuff like that. I, I just don't know. They uh, have all still, the money still doesn't in believe in the buying world. studios, apparently. I guess. Uh, anybody else want to? I don't know why. The studios. That, that's what they need. They need some more studios. Yeah, like. they need to. They need to own more studios to make games in house. It, it, it's it's, it's just the stuff that Phil Spencer said during an interview. I when um whenever he mentioned Zelda and basically uh, Horizon, they don't make as much money as multiplayer games. See, but the, the the thing with Microsoft and especially with Phil is he is trying to change Xbox as a whole. To the point where he wants their games to be all service-oriented games, where it's kind of like Overwatch, where you play a game throughout the generation, you continually throw money into that game. That's what he wants for his own franchises. That's oh. what he meant when he was saying things like single-player games don't have impact. Because what he says is technically well, uh, true, well, he didn't but say at the like same that. time, a lot of people love single-player games. He, he, does, he didn't say it like that. He said it doesn't have a, an impact like he used to, you know, if you want to compare it to multiplayer. We are no, you know, multiplayer games make more yeah. money because of that. But we can't... We can't well, yeah, because what, what he was saying is you buy the game and then that's it. They don't... Because he's looking at it from their perspective. You, you get the $60 from a customer and then you don't make any more money from them anymore. That's a damn lie. Like, a lot, it's a whole bunch of season That's passes. what he was saying, though. Like, <laughs> like Witcher 3. I mean, don't they got a, a, an expansion pack or a season pack? Like, there's other uh, downloadable content you can, you can pay for on Witcher 3. Yeah. Same yeah. with Zelda. Complete. Yeah, so, yeah, same with Zelda. Like, there, there's other DLC you can buy, but I understand what, what he's saying. He wanted to continuously and market Yeah, he wants to continuously ass. nickel and dime that's, you for that's years. That's what it is. And that's what he wants. Yeah. The sad part about it is a lot of these Xbox in this community are freaking behind him with that. They're praising that shit. No, these fucking <laughs> idiots, man. If he started, if he started microtransactioning you for um for <laughs> Sea of Trash, if you had to like give him five dollars for different colors for your for your boat, people would buy it, and yeah, that's what he wants. He wants shit like that. Is. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. You got you, know, you got people like your boy PP Reaper. He said that Xbox is oh a multi. It's a multi. It's a multiplayer machine. That's what he said. That's what he said. It's a multiplayer machine. He doesn't care about single player experience. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Maybe because he's been a single guy his whole life. He doesn't want to be single uh-huh. in a game. Thank <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else want to touch on this before we move to something else? Ah. Eh. Eh. No. Oh, okay. Eh. Eh. Do better, Microsoft. Okay. Uh, it will. Okay, what else? Well, I know we still have to talk about Nintendo, their E3. What else? Am I missing something? Oh, oh, we can't forget about Sega. Uh, oh, damn it, I thought we forgot about it. You know you're going to be good. Oh, I thought we were going to get past it. Yeah. <laughs> You can't say no. Gotta bite the bullet on this one. Don't, 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 let, don't let me pull out your podcast from the other day. You fanboying it out. Don't let me pull out your podcast. I'm gonna expose your. I'm gonna expose your ass, man. But uh, apparently, Sega is uh, basically trying to make a huge comeback. And looking at Sonic Mania, and I'm really, really looking forward to that game. I love the classic Sonic. Uh, Sonic Mania probably be coming out sometime this summer. Uh, we got another trailer to the Sonic, uh, the Sonic Forces, and it's like they're listening to us. Finally, we 
get to play Sonic however we want to play it, from the traditional uh, platformer to the um, the, the three D. Uh, now we get to um, uh, create our characters. We can do whatever we want, and that is really cool. And you know, there's new weapons. Like it's whatever you want in the Sonic game. It's fair. And I'm I'm really um um happy. I'm really grateful to see something like this. I know I want to see more before I get too excited about this. But from what I look, I'm looking at right now, it looks really cool. It looks really cool. I, that's a day one buy for me. Uh, Sonic Forces and, and Mario Odyssey during the holiday. That's gonna be really huge for me, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, um, they said that they want to revive their older I um you know they 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 said they, they want to revive their old IPs and they want to make new IPs, um, mm -hmm. but and and they are um going to invest over four hundred and fifty million dollars into research and development, and this mm. is seven percent over last year. I think last year they invested over four hundred twenty-two million, so it went up seven percent. So they're telling me that Sega is actually trying to do something. You know, they just um you know released Yakuza Zero. Uh, and they had another. They had a brand new Yakuza game for uh, it's. It was uh, what's the name of it? But it's Yakuza in, it, Six. Oh, Yakuza Six. Okay, that's for Japan. It's supposed to be coming out. I think sometime this year in the states. Sometime this year, Yakuza Six. Uh, yeah. So mm. they. So I think Yakuza Six did really well in Japan. And look at Persona Five. And yeah, Persona Five is owned by Sega. Alex. Uh, yeah, let's not uh, start talking shit <laughs> about that. So Persona Five is doing well. It's selling really they well out here in the West. Nothing to do with that game. Okay, kid. okay, well, we're going to go back over this. Um, who owns Vanquish? Who owns Bayonetta? <laughs> who owns Atlas? So we're going to do this again, Alex. They have nothing to do with oh, any of that other than owning it. Does it doesn't. Okay, okay. Who, okay. Do Nintendo make, do they make Donkey Kong? They used to. Uh, no, 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 no. Do they make it now? Who, who, no. who, who made Tropical Freeze? Who made Donkey Kong Country Returns? Who made that? Retro. Okay, then. You can't say nothing. You can't say that. <laughs> Exposed. Like what does that. it have to do with anything? I don't understand. <laughs> no, no, no. You, know, you praise Donkey Kong and Nintendo, but when it comes to Atlas and, you know, basically uh, with Persona and Bandetta and Vanquish, you don't want to give no praise to uh, uh, that has, Sega. Because it has nothing to do with Sega. Okay, but... They but, have no but, input, but, even. But, when it, but with Donkey Kong... You are you praise Nintendo, even though Nintendo yeah, don't make Donkey they Kong. they have Nintendo oh. staff on hand oh. helping make the game. Oh. Sega doesn't do that. Oh, retro student, no, I, I, I'm not even gonna argue with you no more. But anyway, anyway, uh, yes, they're going to um, um, put in more money to research and development, more games. Yes, um, oh, they uh, say they're gonna revive older IPs, and a lot of people has been wanting a Streets of Rage for so long, man. I don't know what the hell's going on. Streets of Rage needs to yeah. come back ASAP, man. Um, yeah, the Streets of Rage with today's graphics, online multiplayer. It would that's, be that's, so that's, awesome, that'd be amazing. That'd be be awesome. Yeah, they'll do an updated version. If, like, they, if, not, they could, if they could bring back Double Dragon, bring back Streets of Rage, man. Nobody, no, yeah, no beat 'em up game can can go even even close to Streets of Rage. Double Dragon, <laughs> final, of Rage the final, final fight. Nobody. I like Final Fight, but Streets of Rage is the best. I'm sorry, Streets of Rage is the best. So just thinking about that, like Panzer Dragon comes in mind. Uh, Sh Shining Force, Fantasy Star, uh, lots of really good games. House of the Dead, like House, Comic of, Zone. House yeah, Comic yeah. Zone. House of the Dead, it works really good with the Switch, with the Joy Cons, with the with the motion control. You yeah, know, I mean that, that works really good. Great on the that Wii. works. Yeah. yeah, like I I did like the House of Dead on the Wii because they had the little uh, gun. You know that that was really cool. Yeah, it's like, gun, yeah, got that grindhouse effect. I mean, yeah, like the whole feel of the game. So they yeah, have the cheesy they, voice acting. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was cheesy. But what what thing when it comes to Sega, like when it comes to arcade games, they make the best arcade games. They make good arcade like, games, yeah. Like when when it comes to that, yeah, I mean, look at the there. fighting games, like you know, the Virtual Fighter series, uh Fighting Vipers, Fighters Mega Mix, I mean Eternal you know, uh, uh, Eternal, Eternal Champions. Champions. Like, yeah, that, that game was really gruesome back then. I was like, man, was it supposed to be another Mortal Kombat or something? But yeah, I used to have fun playing that when I was a kid, man. Uh but they got so many like a C D version of it, you know. Guys <laughs> They got so many IPs, man. It's kind of it's kind of like with with Nintendo. They got so many IPs just sitting down, just just we just waiting for them to explode with these IPs. Like Jesus Christ, like Nintendo and Sega, they have all the IPs to be on top of the gaming industry right now. But you know, it is what it is, man. But if they can somehow uh, come back with, with, like I said a while ago, with Streets of Rage, come back with their uh, popular franchises, man. I, I think uh, Sega. It, I think they. 
will uh, quietly um, uh, um, come back into this gaming industry. I, I know a lot of people, you know, when we, when we think about developers or publishers, a lot of people think about EA, people think about Activision, people think about Ubisoft. But when it comes to IPs, nobody don't even hold a candle to IPs if you want to compare it to Sega. Sega has so many IPs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold, on, hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your ass. Hold on. Did you just say nobody can compare IPs to Sega? Oh, no, you're going to throw I'm a not, Nintendo I'm in not there. talking about Nintendo. You can't be serious I'm right not now. talking about Nintendo. All right. Shut up, Alex. Even not talking about Nintendo, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even, like, Ubisoft has about, more IPs. I was talking Activision about, owns a lot of IPs. EA owns a ton. I was talking about EA, Activision, Ubisoft. Sega has. They all have just as many. I don't know. If, no, man. Check. No, check the facts. Sega has been out a long time. It's just the '80s. Come on. Ubisoft releases a new IP every year. Though. Exactly. Hey, and Activision true. just buys IPs. <laughs> mm, yeah, but I, I could name a whole bunch of IPs. For the EA, EA has canceled more IPs than Sega has ever made. Yeah, but like, like I say, anyway, anyway, like they had so many IPs that it's just they just sitting on it. And I'm pretty sure that y'all have a, you know, it's a, it's a lot of games that y'all would love for them to bring back. Like, I'm going to just, just name my games, then I'm just go to, to y'all. Like, I guess the games I would love for them to bring back, like Vector Man, like it's a, a shooter, uh, I guess with with this, um, with, the, with modern gaming de- uh, times, like people love shooters and Vector Man comes to mind, like with, with shooters. Uh, I love Vector Man. Um, uh, Shining Force, Fantasy Star, JRPGs is still a thing. I, I, I love JRPGs. Uh, Skies of Arcadia, uh, Arcadia. Uh, um, fighting games are still popular, uh, so they need to bring back, like I say, with Turn of Champions and, and uh, Virtual Fighter. They got so many games, like, uh, okay, with sports games. They even got sports games like uh, Sega Rally, Daytona USA, uh, with the art. Like, I don't really like simulation races, but these are arcade races. They're, these were actually fun back then. So they got so many games. Um, what was that? NBA 2K. Remember NBA 2K? That came from the Dreamcast. That was uh, once a Sega NFL IP. NFL 2K also. And, uh, yeah, NFL 2K, World Series 2K. Like, all that was from Sega. Uh, it was Sega Sports. Yeah, because EA didn't want to do it. did no business with them. So basically, yeah. hey, that makes sense. Sega, yeah. you know, the drink has made money, money for them. So, yeah, basically, they have so many damn games, man. It's just Sega just, oh, they are in their own way. So, I'm really liking the success that Sega is doing right now with the Persona and the, uh, these other games. And uh, not to mention, they just put Benetta on PC, and they're doing really good on PC. And I guess with them, with Benetta doing good on PC, they announced Vanquish going to PC. So, they're yep. they're dipping to the PC market. It's more money. One more week, money. exactly, and Vanquish will be <laughs> yeah, out on PC. Yeah, so they're making a lot yeah. more money. So, a lot more money means more. More games, more games uh, from newer IPs to older IPs. It's just so many games to even choose from. So Man, we we better get a Vanquish too. So yeah, um, yeah, Ben out of three. Like, there's a chance we might get Ben out of three. I'm like, about you know, yeah. making it Ben out of three. So that needs I would to love, I would love. For yeah, that. that's that's definitely. Yeah, happening. Happening. They have to. They they made their money back. They made their money back with the Wii. Yeah. It, it's so pretty I'm well. Saying, for the Wii. Like, I mean, I was pissed off at them when they didn't. And when they chose not to do Bayonetta 2, and then Nintendo swooped it up, and I was like, I was like, Shh. yeah, and released some of that dog yeah, shit. That's how, that's how short sighted Sega is. Yeah, because yeah, they were too reliant on set on Sonic. He's like, yeah. that was their yeah. focus. Of- I'm really glad that they are. Um, they actually trying to listen to the fans now. They actually is listening to the fans because uh, fans be asking for a retro style Sonic game. You know, got that. If you asking for customizing your, your Sonic characters and all that, we got that. Like we get, we like with the Sonic Forces. Like we get to play this game. However, we want to play this, and by them doing that and saying that we're going to basically um, bring back older IPs and plus PC games been asking for Vanquish and Bed They've been asked. They've been like Sega is listening. They actually is listening. So that's that's one thing I can commend them about. But well, as far as old IPs. Man, I y'all have already heard what I want. Uh, let's let's start with you, uh, 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 Sinister. Which what uh, what is the older IPs from Sega you want them to bring back, and which of these games uh, would fit so perfectly in today's gaming times? Well, let's see, uh, I already mentioned the uh, Ultra Beast, uh, Alien Syndrome. I mean, that would be great for today, especially today's market. You know, it's like mm. you know people like you know space shooters, like some that bring that Air- that feel, space like, you know, uh. Uh, like fighters like uh fighter you know fighting vipers uh fighters mega mix just to name a few like some of those uh, dark fighters and bring those back you know because you know especially you know you know do we see them in esports someday uh things like that i mean just 
especially like for Alien Syndrome. It, oh, of course, our afterburner. Mm-hmm. Definitely, you know, because you know, because I love that climax that came out for uh, the 360 and the PS3 back then. You know how amazing that was. I mean, I mean that would fit you know perfectly with today's mark. Just put some new generation graphics, a new engine on it, new fresh coat of paint on it. It looked amazing. You know, mm. do it right. Like I said, you know, bring those back. You know, you know. Don't get me wrong. I love Sonic, but stop being too reliant on them. You know, bring those things back. And yes, bring back Bayonetta. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> okay, okay. We didn't. I didn't mention uh, Virtual Cop. Virtual Cop works perfectly fine yes. on the Switch uh, with the motion controls. Virtual Cop. I love Virtual yeah, Cop. The one with House of that you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Zombie Revenge. I don't know if you played that on the Dreamcast. Um, yeah. But uh, okay. Uh, what about you, Nick? What, what you think? I think we're all gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> let's see if they're gonna bring something back i say in quotes like you're probably gonna like maybe get maybe a hd remaster of shenmue one and two which i guess wouldn't be bad no actually. that's pretty that might not be I would love that. that'd be perfect and then you're probably gonna get like Eight more Sonic games, oh, God. or whatever. Maybe we'll come up with like Sonic R two or some weird shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> they need to give Sonic the rest for at least two to three. They should have did a Sonic 06 10 year anniversary. Oh, yeah, something like that. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna call it the Sonic 06 fixed edition. Yeah, the, fixed the edition. definitive <laughs> edition. <laughs> we, finally, we finally got it right, guys. It took us yeah, like over ten years, but we we got it. Damn. Um. I got, there's a lot of games I'd like to come back. Like, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I want a sequel to Skies of Arcadia 2. Mm. The hell is that? Mm. Um, Street Rage would be cool. Yeah, so like that. I could like go like I can go down a list like the rest of you, but it's like it's probably not going to happen because all the game companies are stupid. Like, <laughs> no work of the dolphin. I was like, oh man, that'll be. <laughs> so it's just like, are you going to get some kind of a? Uh, Genesis collection again or something for like the current consoles. Hmm. Like that uh, uh, Sega that Sonic just collection. make some collection disc with a bunch of old ass games. I don't want that. No. Yeah. yeah. Probably looking at that. We, had that, we had that last gen. Yeah, we had a bunch of that last gen. I don't want like, that again. Remember these games? Well, here they are again. Yeah, so, we've yeah. done nothing to them. Now in <laughs> super HD. Uh, I don't need that shit. I still got my Sega. Now Super your now your 480p game can be stretched to 4K. <laughs> ah. I, I still got my uh, Sega Smash Pack for the Dreamcast. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I still got that. So we don't need that shit. No hell no. That's the last thing they should be doing. No, it's like, all right, it's like you know, here's what, like the research. Like, all right, go back. You know that that gameplay they had back then. It's like okay. Try to bring it for you know today's standards, you know today's graphics and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, just make sure the gameplay is right, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, paid definitely, th- never fix the gameplay. I guess uh, paid enthusiast, he is right. Jet Set Radio will still great on the Switch. It's a great, it is a great yeah, fit. It, would. it you know, it would. it's perfectly. It's per- yeah, just like it, it reminds me kind of like a Sunset Overdrive, like wacky, cartoony. Colorful yeah. game like Sunset it's, it's Overdrive. Hard. I can even guarantee you, Sunset Overdrive would have sold better on the Wii U than it did. Oh the Xbox yeah, one. it would. It would have. Too colorful for the Xbox. Too colorful. Too, too colorful for the <laughs> Xbox guys. Like they, if it's more than just brown, they get scared. <laughs> That's what. And, and if the gun isn't in first person, they get scared. Did that game break a million yet? <laughs> After it went down to like twenty dollars. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they, they oh, yeah, definitely if they, they do. Uh, Golden Axe, I, yeah, it's like like with Ghost Pepper. We mentioned Golden Axe, yeah, that would be great for yeah, today. Golden Axe would be badass. Yes, uh, it, you know, fuck that Beast Rider bullshit. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, real Golden. Axe. Yeah, I did not like that shit. That was I played on a three six. That that was uh that was bullshit. Yeah, I rented it. I took that sucker right back. Yeah, I was like, yeah. yeah, they yeah uh, Sega. They uh they made a lot of mistakes during the uh, seventh generation. They they fucked up a lot. Yes, they did. They, they fucked, fucked up a lot. A lot. Ooh, they kind of they tarnished their name, their brand. Yeah, they did. They did a lot of shit <laughs> after they got out of the console, the console war or whatever. Like they just kept fucking up. No, no, no. You know, when uh, Moore was working for them for a while before he, you know, he went to Microsoft and EA. After that, I mean, the sixth generation they did fun. The sixth did generation. Peter Moore, he worked for Sega for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then he went to Microsoft. Peter Moore was awesome at Microsoft. Yeah. 
He kicked ass. Yeah, because he laid up the groundwork, and it was just uh, Don Matrick. He just ruined it. He just took the Don game. Matrick, like, just ran with it, and then he had his turn with the Xbox One and fucked everything up. Yeah, yeah, he, he took the blueprint that Peter left and said, hey, this is the game plan. Stick with it. Oh, okay. He's like, nah, I'm making a cable box, this, bitch. Just ask with the fuck it. Oh, okay. Fuck your, fuck your <laughs> blueprints. I want to make a cable box. Okay, I guess let's go Dark Star. What you think about this uh, Sega Live? What do you want them to bring back? Uh, you know, uh, Sega's okay, I guess, you know, they're, they're all right. <laughs> honestly, if they don't, look, all, honestly, the only game I want from them is Fantasy Star, like, that, that's it. I don't really care too much about Sega, other than, like, I wish they would let go of Atlas. Let's let them go, dude. Give them the Nintendo, please. Oh, yeah, no, seriously. no, keep it, Sega. Sega, Sega keep it. They don't need them. Well, y'all, 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 just, y'all, just, y'all is just too good. They're too good. Y'all is just hey. when, when, I remember. Y'all here, uh, like, I remember when hating. when when Atlas was being announced. When they announced like, oh, we're gonna be y'all selling, you know, our business, and I was so sure Nintendo was gonna pick yeah, them Nintendo up. Nintendo fucked up Sega. Yeah, Sega of all people. <laughs> I could have. Sega the company that blew, like, so. barely has any money. I could have sworn exactly. Sega, that was. I, a, I thought. Um, I thought Sega was broke. Um, what happened? I thought it was broke. They are broke. So how it was a it was so a, it was a pity. Not, yeah, not, I mean, are they broken okay. the Capcom? They pity. Oh, no, no, Capcom no, no, barely no. got enough money in the bank to make games anymore. I don't see. I don't see how, how Sega's wow. broke. They they invest almost a half a million dollars two years in a row on research and development. Especially that new Sonic that they're working on. <laughs> that Sonic that game bombs is over. That game bombs is over. I don't. I, I just. No. And I hope that Sonic yeah. game is good. So far, it looks yeah. good. You it know looks what? good, but you know if it what? doesn't, I, I guess uh, you, that's right. You younger, that's, you probably wouldn't. You wasn't born into the Genesis day. He didn't live the console yeah, war like yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't. Right. Okay, that's, <laughs> that, 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 that's why. That's, that's why you're not excited like I am because I, I, I remember. I used to close my kids in the playground when we we're talking about Nintendo and Sega. Yeah, I used to close. <laughs> <play, laughs> Don't I, I forget I, me too, guys. <laughs> I used to. I'm pretty much like the oldest out of, out of this whole group that you yeah, know remembers that stuff. I used to, I'm too young I, for this. I used to close, too young for that. I used to close line these kids for saying uh, freaking Mario's better. Than close line. Yeah, I used to run up into the playground and go fuck Sega and close line the closest kid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was like, did you have old rumbles in the playground reel? I remember, I remember that shit, man. I remember one kid. I remember one kid told me Sonic is the Mario killer. And I fucking power bombed that kid. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah, I guess at your age, you oh okay, you experienced a lot of Sega fuck up. So okay, what you like? Yeah, yeah, he must have grew up with Sega yeah, being the butt of everyone's what, that's jokes. That's what it is. What you like? 21, 22, Dark Star. What you like? Twenty one. Yeah, I'm twenty. Twenty two. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. That, that explains it. <laughs> that explains it. So yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, what about you, Alex? What you want? What what you want to say? Uh, well, being a hardcore Sega fanatic like you, real, there's a lot of stuff from Sega that I want. I'm, I'm the hugest Sega fan in this. Nah, get out of here with that shit. <laughs> Uh, there's a couple games like I want them to reboot Alter Beast. I think they could make it good this time, uh, potentially. Uh, Bayonetta, obviously. Um, just looking through the list here of the ones that I actually like. Crazy Taxi was fun. Oh, I love Crazy Taxi. Uh, Condemned was okay. I never played that one. That game was all right. Uh, do, 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 do. what else is there? Echo. I'm not a huge Echo guy. That, but like, that, I know a that lot can, of that like can Echo. that can fit as like an indie game, maybe an indie game. Yeah, that could be like an indie game. That could be indie Fan- game. Uh, Fantasy Zone was cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> manager, no thanks. Golden Axe, definitely Golden Axe. I love that game. Oh, we didn't miss uh, Shinobi. Shinobi. What the hell? The Shinobi. Yeah, Shinobi's good. Jet Set Radio, obviously. Uh, oh yeah, they did make Jurassic Park, but I don't think they get that IP anymore. Mad World, Mad World kicked ass. Right. Uh, and then obviously more good Sonic games, not terrible ones. And Vector Man. There's not too much other stuff from Sega that I like. Yeah, Those like would Alvin, be the ones. Yeah. Bring Alvin to the Switch. That would be good. No Panzer Oh, and uh, Super Monkey Ball and Streets of Rage, of course. No Panzer Dragon. No Knights. No. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too big on Knights. Oh, okay. Okay. Dragon the Warden. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, that, I think that's about it. They have some good shit, but like, I want to see what kind of new ideas they can come up yes. with too. Mm-hmm. That's true. I really, I really hope um, they uh, back up what they're what they're saying, man. But I guess as far as what's going on right now, like they listen to the fans, they listen to the Sonic fans, they listen to the PC fans. PC, the PC uh, people want to bend that and oh, bang, and they that, got it. That's the only reason I started liking Sega again because they're putting their games on PC now. 
So like Bayonetta on Bayonetta on PC runs like a fucking dream. It's amazing. Yes. And I cannot wait for Vanquish next week. I'm super excited for that. Uh, so I hope they bring more games over because they got like some good shit from last gen that they can transfer over. I think it'd be great because they're only like twenty bucks too, which is awesome. Oh really? That's nice. Yeah, like Bandit is only twenty bucks. Vanquish is only going to be twenty bucks. Yeah, I think that was really smart for Sega to, uh, you know, step Very into the PC market. Yeah. That was real smart. Because like sometimes these companies they re-release a game and they charge sixty dollars and and it's literally just a fucking port. Yeah, yeah, garbage. Sometimes I, I it's like garbage hate that shit. Yeah, especially the port sucks and they charge you a high price. Like, fuck and they charge you yeah. like Bioshock. That Bioshock collection was trash, and they're charging sixty dollars for it. Nah, fuck, fuck that. Man. I just played the back's compatibility. Yeah. Man. Fuck that. Matter of fact, it's like, I, um, wish they bring, I wish they bring Bayonetta 2 to PC, man, but Nintendo owns it, so that's not going anywhere. Uh, speaking yeah, of Bioshock, but... uh, you could buy for like five bucks a piece on backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. It's like five dollars a yeah. piece. Man, fuck that shit. <laughs> uh, Vanquish 2 on the Switch. I'd rather have Vanquish 2 on my PC, but like. If it is to go exclusive anywhere, I would hope it's on the Switch, I guess. At least I can bring it around with me. Okay. And he's saying same thing for Bayonetta 3. Yeah, there's no way Nintendo's going to let Bayonetta 3 go multiplayer. There's no way. No, because they want to lock them. It's like, how to lock her down? No. Oh, okay. She, she might as well be a Nintendo princess at this point. Not, yeah. Not, but... not, not, not Princess Peach? What you got? What you got? What you got against Princess, <laughs> Princess Peach? Princess Peach ain't <laughs> shit, man. She's a fucking <laughs> thought. <laughs> Yeah. Damn. One of Mario's hoes. Damn. Yeah, she's one of Bowser's bitches, man. Well, actually, it is Bowser. Ain't Bowser supposed to be married, married her? Womanizing. I mean, Bowser's gonna, she's Bowser is, uh, Bowser's gonna make, put a ring on her in the yeah, next game. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somewhere around the corner. Mario, uh, Mario's a fucking home wrecker if you actually think about it. Because all all that. Bowser's trying to do is make honest, uh, make an honest woman out of Peach, so she doesn't have to be an honest her woman. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to make an honest woman out of her. He's womanizer. I mean, she doesn't have Pauline. to be a lady of the night anymore. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, he had Pauline. Then he, you know, then he got you know rescued Daisy and banged her before. And he, yeah, uh, like Mario just gets that. around, man. Like for a fat, ugly plumber, Mario gets a lot of ass. Damn. Fucking <laughs> 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 second. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, so I guess that um, anybody else has anything to add with the with the Sega stuff before we go to the Nintendo Direct? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I guess uh, I just recently watched the Nintendo Direct a while ago. Um, watched the Arms. It looks it's uh it's more interesting now. Uh, they added more content and everything. It's way more in depth than I thought. Yeah, it was. yeah, it's a lot more. I, I thought it was, I thought it was only uh, concentrated just on just with the fighting aspects. I didn't know they were gonna have that other stuff. And they mentioned about more free uh, content, more DLC, more maps, more characters in the future. We ain't we ain't gotta fight nothing. So that's real good on tennis part, and I'm really glad for that. So I'm real big by this game. I will be supporting it, and it actually does look fun. At the same time, and after this, this uh, after the end of that direct, they show a little snippet of the Splatoon 2, the single player uh, campaign. It actually looks a lot more fun than the uh, than the uh, Splatoon for uh, the regular Splatoon. Yeah, version. the Splatoon and, uh, 2 campaign looks way yeah, better than it, the first yeah, one. Yeah, like like we've been saying for a while, like this Splatoon campaign was basically like a, a demo. That was a glorified yeah. tutorial. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, a tutorial demo, whatever. Um, it, it looks actually. It looks something like we could actually have fun playing this time. Yeah. I, I didn't enjoy the Splatoon single player. It was hot garbage. I'll just be honest. Only the boss fights was, was interesting. The boss fights were cool, but, but everything else was yeah, just trash. It was trash, but it look, actually looks fun this time. So I'm, a, I'm excited for Splatoon. Um, arms, uh, more characters. I know a lot of people talking about the, what's it. What's uh, it? Twintail? Is that the name of that new Twin, character? Twintail. Twintail. Yeah. And everybody concentrate on, on, uh, on our. Thick um... ass bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, they, I kind of surprised they um, have her butt that curvy. I was like, is this going to be a rated E game or a rated team? Like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he was that ass life, man. Yeah. He was like. <laughs> Everybody said this is Benetta in disguise or something like that, but damn, man, yeah, like she is clearly inspired by Benetta. Like that is absurd. She uses her hair to fight, of course. Yeah, yeah, she uses her hair. She has long legs. She's like all proper, like Bayonetta is too, and yeah. sassy and shit. She's like exactly like Bayonetta, except she's a fighter in this game. Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, lots of new content, man. I'm really uh, surprised, for, and I'm I'm satisfied at the same time. And when um, I saw the basketball and the volleyball, I was like, man, it's pretty cool. 
So, you know, just looking at that, and Nintendo said they're not finished, we will get more free updates. I was like, man, this... Uh, yeah, they're going to do the Splatoon thing gonna, where you it's get... Gonna, yeah, it's going to be something I will play for a while. This actually looks fun. So, let's go down the list, man. Um, Alex, what you think about it? Oh, this uh, Orange, man. Are you excited about it? It, was a, it was a good Direct. Uh, as far as, like, the Directs that focus on one game only, I think this was probably the best one. Like, they gave you a lot of new information. They gave you three new characters. They showed you a bunch of different modes, like the, the volleyball mode, the basketball mode. They showed you more of the two-on-two -two chaos mode. Uh, they did a really good job explaining the game, like the new mechanics, like how each arm can have a different element. I think there's eight different elements, like fire, ice, electricity, explosion, all that shit. Uh, it's... It's pretty in depth. I don't know why it took them so long to kind of convey how in depth this game is, but uh, yeah, it's actually got a lot more content than I thought initially. So, and then they announced that there's going to be a, a test demo, or I forgot what they're calling it, but uh, that starts next week where you can play the game for what seem I think it's like an hour at a time, like Splatoon does, so we can get a feel for the game. That's smart for a new IP. You got to get it out there early so people get uh, so people can try it out, see if they like it or not. But the game looks good, man. Like, um, I'm surprised. I wasn't hyped for at all for it. Then these new modes came out. They look good. And uh, the new characters, I like Twintel. Twintel's awesome because I'm a huge Bayonetta guy. So, like, she's pretty much a carbon copy. So uh, that's what made me excited for the game. Uh, I'm just going to try it out next week and see. If I like the game, I'll pick it up. But it comes down to that demo. If I don't have any fun with it, then I'm just not going to buy the game, obviously. But we'll see next week. Okay. Um. Uh, what about you, uh, Darkstar? Yo, I just uh, uploaded a video about this. This this direct was fantastic. Literally yeah. everything I wanted, it, <laughs> they addressed. They addressed the modes. They addressed the online. They addressed the the demo at the end. Everything that you wanted to know about the game, you now know. All within twenty it's, minutes. It was very impressive. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Adding the new, sprinkling the new characters throughout the direct was perfect. I, instead of like blowing it out at the very beginning, I like that. The new stages look great. I feel like the best thing about this game, honestly, because remember when Splatoon came out and there was a lack of modes and everyone was like, oh, there's not enough here, there's not enough here, yeah. which is true. This game is coming out with more than enough modes and there's still more to come yeah, and it's free. Later, yeah. And that's crazy to me. Like, that's how it's supposed to be. I, if they were to add on, you know, like microtransactions later on down the line, honestly, I'd be fine with that because the base game is just so this full. This game is huge. Like, when you compare this to Street Fighter V, it's, uh, it's, it's night and day. day. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. It's I love it. <laughs> a, a brand new IP versus a, a storied franchise, and they're coming out with more content at launch than Street Fighter has today. Doesn't even make any sense doesn't at all. Sense. <laughs> yeah, but... Street Fighter, you released another Street Fighter Two version for this. That is crazy. Like, come on, man. This new game, is like you know, being awesome like that. It's like... The only thing is, um, we don't know yet if it's like Splatoon, where it's. Not on disc DLC, or if it's DLC that they're oh, making and patching it later. Because I, I'm not, I don't like the on disc DLC. I don't like it. Yeah, it, if it's, it's on the it get it at day yeah. one, but like if it's stuff they're adding in later, you got to download it properly. Then that's cool. I think it'll be like Zelda. They'll they'll be like developing it, kind of like yeah, Mario Kart. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much the same thing. So I'm really satisfied with it. Really hyped. Can't wait. Next week's gonna be lit. Yep. Okay. Um, lit. So you got on that. All yes, right. sir. Uh, what about you, uh, Nick? Watch the direct. I did not see it. Oh, I forgot what? about it. What? Damn, Nick, you always <laughs> miss these things. You always miss these directs, man. <laughs> Every time. Oh, I'm at God. work when they do them. They're like, they do them. Like the I was at work, too. I ran in the back room. I was, I was at work. Down. I just saw the direct before I did the podcast. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> I usually oh, get my... God. Damn, Nick, at least read a recap. Shit. <laughs> I was getting to that. I get my recaps about it on Twitter. I got a bunch of people to tweet what they see. And yes, I saw what's her name with the, the, with the hair and the ass or whatever like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thickanetta. So, uh, yeah, she's the only character that has actual real arms. And then, yeah, like, that's the, weird, the, right? Her, her, her hair. Yeah. She don't care. Like, everybody else got, like, that, that, uh, everybody arm else has, like, exactly. robot arms. <laughs> that Ninjaro looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to probably try him now. He looks pretty cool. Well, oh. The game is looking pretty neat. I think, like, when I first heard about it, and I think we all felt the same way, it's like, ah, oh, fuck, no more controls, fuck that game. Yeah. <laughs> but we found out that that is completely optional. 
Yep. And they're offering a bit more too. It's like, yeah, you know what? I, I would actually like want to pick up that game now. And oh, I'll, I'll probably try the motion controls once just to see how it is. I don't know, but you know, I think for the most part, most people are gonna buy the game and gonna play it for the uh, with the pro controller or the uh, their Joy-Con put together. I don't know, but you know. So it's looking pretty interesting. Something new from Nintendo. At least they have something new with their new system new yep. IPs, right? coming out. So it's good to goes. see it new IPs this mm-hmm. early on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it could be a decent, uh, decent game. Start, start of a decent friend. It looks pretty good too. I mean, it's not a bad looking game. Well, yeah, it's made by the guys that made Mario Kart Eight. So I think it's like the same engine. Yeah, nice, oh, yeah. fun yeah. looking. Oh, and Digital Foundry did a video about it today. Rock solid 1080p 60fps. Good. No, early build. no Good. drops at all. Good. And um, wow. the only time it goes down is when you play four player local. It drops down to 30, just like Mario Kart. Well, that's pretty. That's probably a good obvious. Thing. That's pretty obvious. Yeah, but like, yeah, 1080p 60fps, perfect Native frames mm-hmm. natively. So like, <laughs> solid, yeah. solid game. Xbox can't do that, but it's all good. That yeah. Scorpio. That's you know, Destiny 2, of... 30 FPS, but that's <laughs> not right. Right. Yes, <laughs> well, they, 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 they focusing on the realism. That's why they can't get that 60 frames per second. Yeah, they can't do that's it with the hardware. Yeah. The Nintendo does it the right way, man. You focus on rock-solid gameplay first, yeah. then you work yeah. on visuals. Because yeah. visuals is much less important. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess apparently uh, these Xbox fanboys and PlayStation fanboys, they are more graphic swords than uh, the Nintendo guys. They like watching movies. Yeah, basically they like they like movies. Uh, I, I just like playing video games, man. I'm, Thirty I'm, FPS fucking first person yeah. shooting game. That is disgusting. In twenty seventeen, Jesus. In twenty Christ. fucking seventeen. And Jesus did you Christ. say disgusting. that? Uh, did you say Destiny Two is thirty frames per second on the fucking Scorpio? On the Scorpio, on the oh, Pro, on the X, oh, everything. That, 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 that is Microsoft that, alone. So that, Sony. That, <laughs> that is that's pathetic, dude. That is that's crazy. It's, and the, 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 funny, it too. the thing that sucks is it's not the, it's not the Scorpio's fault. It's because no. they need to have parody with we, the standard Xbox and the PS4. The, we talked about. We've this. been we, telling people, we knew preaching was, about this, this for a long time. Yeah, we knew this was gonna happen, man. So I don't know why he was. Well, this is like why, why people got off. so confused when I say things like the Scorpio is going to be held back by yeah. the standard Xbox One. You're gonna see this over and over and over and over and over and over. But the deal with this is crap and Zaire and all these Xbox these these dudes they getting all pissed off. You should have knew about this. You like, should have known. We should have known about this. We've been preaching this, and now we're laughing at you. Like, like <laughs> are you still gonna buy the Scorpio? Like, like if there's gonna be a lot What's of console, the point? Um, is it gonna be a lot of? If there's gonna be a lot of console parity with the Scorpio and the original Xbox One, then I'm not gonna buy a Scorpio. I'm just get a freaking PC. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sick exactly because the PC, the I'm PC version, the frame rate is uncapped. You can play That's as high as you want. Yeah, no, like doing. just, just listen yeah. to all this, just crappy ass. New negative news, like, it got me want to get a PC, man. Like that, that's why the, the power of the Scorpio is so fucking irrelevant because it's going to be tied down to the standard Xbox One, anyways. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Just uh, the only difference is it's going to look prettier, but like at the end of the day, does that fucking matter? That's why the PS4 Pro didn't sell as well because it's, exactly it's tied that, down that's to exactly the why PS4. the PS4 Pro is suffering because it doesn't yeah, do anything. Yeah, worthwhile. the Scorpio is in the same company as, as the Pro. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the Pro, Scorpio and the Pro are gonna yeah. be in the same. Oh, okay, boat, man. okay. Let's let's get back to Nintendo. Uh, we still need to finish this subject. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, did you see the direct uh, Sinister? Oh uh, no, I didn't. No. Okay. What? I mean, I'm just going by what you guys say because I mean, <laughs> I can get you know get the highlights from you all because. Oh, okay. I, I yeah. can catch that and they they <laughs> confirmed that uh, Arms is gonna have its own uh, voice chat. Wait, what? What? Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pause. 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 Hold on, hold on. We got. Voice I read that somewhere. Can Let I me get read a this. Link? <laughs> hey, don't be uh, don't be spreading that propaganda, Alex. Don't be lying, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't be lying. Well, you know, like Splatoon. Splatoon <laughs> yeah. has its own voice chat. Mm, it's just even the Mario Kart 8 guys, though. I don't know. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I I so. I like, let, me double, let me double check. I don't want. I don't want a crap gamer. This. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, super. He said, uh, "Now that my podcast is over, I'm here to troll all y'all bastards." Fuck you. Oh super. my god. Why would you have a podcast at the same time we are, Joe? How rude is that? <laughs> that's messed up. I'm glad. <laughs> that's no, messed up, you fat bastard. I, I'm glad no of my people went to watch your crappy ass podcast. You're not just playing, man. That's right. Because oh, we got loyal playing. viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Loyal, unlike you, drone crusher. Backstabbing bitch. 
Okay, I was mistaken. There is no voice chat. I, oh, I misread okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. We're excited. still living in the dark ages, my bad. So, I guess, we, uh, so I guess we have to get each other's phone numbers and play. Yeah, we've right? got to text each other and little smiley faces. <laughs> Come on, Nintendo! It's like you with the time. It ain't like we could text you. No. Over, ain't like we could, we could text you over the switch because we still can't text nobody on the game. Like, what is going on with that? No, no. I, I would imagine they're gonna talk about that. At yeah, they they have to. They have to. Well, they they have to talk about their new online system. They're gonna be charging for it soon. They better. They I mean, yeah, like, that used to be a, a you that, uh, that Afterglow headset. Yeah, they announced uh, Afterglow headset for Switch, right? Yeah, I seen like two of them. I was like, "What's the point? You can't even chat with them." <laughs> Yet, <laughs> and the pro control don't even have an audio jack on them. It's like, oh, that, that drives me crazy. Why would they do that? And you, you <laughs> want me to pay seven dollars for a controller? I can't even plug a headset into it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> so, uh, I guess is that it on the Nintendo Direct? Is there any other things to talk Ruby, about? You have to have talking. You have to have voice chat in a fighting game. Otherwise, how are you supposed to talk? Trash to your opponent. Mm -hmm. oh, exactly. yeah. or it's like half the fun of playing a fighting game. It's like when I talk trash to real in Mario Kart. When I, when we're in the Discord, I just I just clown them. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me playing on money. That was my that was my kids. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Um, uh, is there anything else I want to talk about before we get to the questions? Um, yeah, are we gonna talk about? Uh, we, we talked about Splatoon already. Never mind. Right. Yeah, they really showed my I don't want to try Splatoon, you know, because, you know, that I, now I'm part of the Switch, I can't wait to try some of these games out. So. Yeah, man, Splatoon 2 is looking really good. Yep. I'm much yeah. more excited for Splatoon 2 than I ever was for Splatoon 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you know, get on that action. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all want to continue back on that discussion uh, with the Scorpio and Destiny 2 and the, the console yeah. parody? Y'all, no. Man, that shit that. is just so uh, funny to me. That, that just pretty much covered that. I was like, 30? I was like, come on, man. Really? Yeah, well, like, they, again, like, it's, it's fucking 2017. This is unacceptable. I mean, 30 frames, I mean, you probably... You, that's like going back two decades. If you're playing, Seriously, <laughs> like, we just had Battlefield 1. We just had Titanfall 2, Halo 5. These are all 60 FPS online shooters. Call of Duty. They're all Splatoon. like 60 <laughs> FPS. Overwatch. And we're going to get Splatoon. These are all 60. Destiny is fucking 30. Like... <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Oh, man. my God. That's a fail, man. That's a I, I, was, that I wasn't going to buy the game anyway because I feel like I got fucked with the first Destiny. I sure as hell not going to buy this shit. That's what I don't understand about these people, man. Like, you got fucked this so man. bad with That's Destiny 1. Yeah, people are running out and pre-ordering Destiny 2. Like, have you learned nothing? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't buy one the day one that came out. I waited, and it's like, man, I took this. Uh, one, man. I, I was like, actually excited for Destiny. It's just I was uh, disappointed, very, very right. much. The storyline sucked. Let's hope this oh, one don't get better. But like, I, I would never touch this shit on console. I can't do thirty FPS shooters. It's not. No, not there's, there's the one thing I like about Destiny. I mean, just Peter Dinklage, the voice actor, the ghost. Oh yeah, did they know? change him though? To some yeah, the Nolan North, yeah. the Nathan Drake. I was like, really. I'd rather have you Peter want from Tyrion to Nathan Drake. Mm. I think I added you on the Switch Drone Crusher. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm following him on Switch too. Yeah. Drone, you don't even have a game on your Switch. Why do you have friends? <laughs> you got no game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess if y'all want to follow me on the Switch, uh, it's in the link in the description because below. Because friends on the Switch are free. Oh, oh damn! Yeah. Yeah. So, all, so all the people. The um, burn. All, I guess all the people that's in the chat, it's in the description below. If you want to follow me on the, on the switch, if you have a switch, it's in the link in the description below. Xbox, PlayStation, the link in the description below. Oh yeah, my yeah. god! Yeah. I wish that they would have like not worried so much about the graphics for Destiny. Like that's the only reason it's thirty frames per second. Yeah, it, but it looks the same like the last one. Though. I don't. But like, even... huh, like the the whole reason the last one was thirty FPS is because they had to put it on the PS3 and 360, right? right? Yeah, we don't have that problem this time. So what? What is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. it it's it's got to be graphics related. I guess it has to be. I think the so, graphic I mean, horizon, that's the that's the problem with this generation. This the graphic horizon. And just man, so I'm annoying. really thinking about getting a PC uh sometime this summer. Like just hearing about this shit, man. I, I can't I'm not gonna pay five, six hundred dollars for Scorpio and get held back by my my Xbox One. I I can't do it, man. That six hundred dollars can go towards PC. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, then you're gonna see like Zaire and all these guys who have their Scorpios crying, like, man, everyone on the Xbox One is holding the Scorpio back. It's like you should have known better. <laughs> so, <laughs> Phil's told Phil told you. Phil was very clear about this. <laughs> all the games will run the same like they do on the Xbox One. Yep. Ha! <laughs> Nick Drone said you're a worthless bum, Nick. Ha! <laughs> He, he yeah, when I got Switch games. Ooh. Oh, oh damn. damn! Damn, exposed. I wonder what Drone Crusher's first Switch game is gonna be. I'm very curious. It better be Mario Kart. Mario Kart, probably not. Okay, uh, since we uh about to finish with all these subs, let's get to these questions, people in the chat. Questions, questions, questions. Let's get to them. Riddle me this. Questions. Hey, we've been uh, we've been in uh, seventy range by most of this podcast. Man. I really appreciate everybody staying. Oh, it's good. Appreciate yeah. everybody staying. Yeah, that's a record for this podcast. Uh, we no, we reached over seventy on uh, on this uh, channel before, but it wasn't a real talk podcast. It was uh, it was um, at the um, men out to show out to real show. Yeah. Yeah, I think we reached about seventy five, uh, something like that. Almost eighty. Something crazy. This is a good. This is a good episode. Though. A lot of people showed up. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. I'm, I, there's no fuckboy talk neither, so I'm surprised. No fuckboy talk. Friday. Fuckboy Friday is tomorrow. Oh man. yeah. Uh, the seventy people that's here, man. Me and Alex, we do a show every Friday. It's called Fuckboy Fridays. We find the. Uh, we find a couple of fuck boys in this community, and we're going to expose the fuckery that they've been spewing on YouTube these past um, this past week. So, yeah, stay <laughs> tuned. This first game will be kill the overweight Canadian. Oh, oh damn! Are <laughs> you gonna kill Bear Hooker? That's pretty <laughs> bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a question out here by uh, Tony. He says, "What do you think of the uh, Harley Quinn as one of the good guys in uh, Injustice 2? It don't make much sense. She's a good guy. Yeah. Harley Quinn. I mean, he's any hero. I mean, oh, that's I, a hero, I guess. Yeah." I guess. What does she look like? Does she look like the Harley Quinn from the, um, the Suicide Squad? Well, the blue and the red hair. And yeah. And... Or does she look like classic Harley? Uh, I don't know. No. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not really paying attention to that game, so I have no idea. No, nah, just the only thing I know about the game is I know the people who pre ordered it, you know, when I bought uh, Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Super Nurse is Sega dead. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the verge. <laughs> well, Alice, um, be the Undertaker. Apparently, huh? yeah, you're gonna be the Undertaker. <laughs> Don't okay. you? You be the first one. I guess uh, <laughs> all y'all, all y'all Sega haters out there, if y'all want to ask if Sega did, they basically, you know, making two Sonic games that people have been asking for, and we got Persona Five and Vanquish and Benetto. Y'all, I, y'all just. You know, and yeah. Atlas made Persona 5. Not hey, Persona. It doesn't matter. Sega still makes money on it. <laughs> they still make no, money. No, it doesn't on count. It. Sega's oh, making that Sonic game. That God. counts. That's a Sega made in house game. Persona matter. is not. It doesn't matter. It belongs to, to Sega. No, Sega. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man. You know, say they had the best intro in the world. When you turn on that console. Yes, the best intro. Yeah, that was pretty good. Sega! Nintendo, like Nintendo just, no, <laughs> it just goes straight to the game. What, what, Sega, what? Uh, Nintendo just like makes a little noise. Yeah, like, this is boring. Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not excited to play Nintendo. I'm excited to play Sega. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking up. Just fucking around. Okay, what else we got? Uh... I'm coming after all of you clowns. Every last one of you losers has angered me. Shut up, Troll Crusher. <laughs> <laughs> Actor Sin, real gamer, you better talk about Fuckboy. I recommend it. Oh my god, Dave J. You say you recommend Fuckboy Talk. <laughs> Dave J recommended a couple Fuckboys. <laughs> no, we keep it classy today. We keep it classy. Uh, what do Usually, you... Levelhead has a podcast on Thursday, but not tonight. Just don't, well, don't worry about his podcast. Ours is way more entertaining. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, it's better, more entertaining. Um, I ain't trying to throw no shots, you know. Just we just better. I'm just being honest. I was, I was okay. kind of, I was, I was kind of, I'm gonna be honest. I was kind of salty with Levelhead the other day when he was talking about the Terminator. Um, when he made that podcast, he said he mentioned a couple of individuals, and I was, I was the individual that Terminator talked about, and he didn't even mention my name. 
I was like, oh, okay, I don't, I don't think like that's that. on purpose though. Uh, that's probably like, an accident. Okay, okay. I was a little salty about that, but that's all. I'm gonna, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I was a little salty, man. I was like, man, okay, uh, uh, okay. It's like this. You won't. Give me no, <laughs> I'm you won't, pretty sure it just slipped you, his mind. You, you, I don't you, think you, he's trying to be. You won't give me no shout on your channel. I just won't give you no shout on my channel, man. It is what it is, man. Keep those. Well, you just <laughs> did though. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see i saw something about black panther uh, i want to watch the black uh does anyone want to watch the black panther movie oh that looks, I will. That looks <laughs> awesome dude that looks i awesome. do because he was on, awesome Chad, awesome been like, you, you got you know a all star his, cat. i love his character in uh civil war yeah he's i cool. like his character yeah. he's cool yeah especially in civil war come yeah, on yeah he was badass in civil I, war i just, I just, see it. I just hope the movie do good since it's uh mostly a black cast <laughs> I, just, right. hope, I just hope it does good <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you got Forrest Griffin, you got uh, Angela Bassett, you got the actress that plays Michonne. I mean, oh, she's, Ooh, she's in there. Oh, in there too? shit, I gotta too? watch it now, dude. Oh, oh damn, I didn't know Michonne's in there. They got an all star cast in there. Is Michonne playing like a warrior or something? Yeah, she plays one of the bodyguards. Oh, oh sweet. Nice. She's gonna cut off somebody's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll probably be stabbing with a spear. <laughs> That's something crazy. Oh, she better have a sword. Oh, they made Superman a bad guy. Man, fuck Superman. He was a bad guy in the first. I don't game. like Superman. Super Nerd says yeah, Sega Batman. doesn't own Batman Persona. all the way. Uh, yeah, Batman's Su way better than Superman. Yeah, Super Nerd says Sega doesn't own Persona. They don't own Persona, but they own Atlas. That's what Batman. I've been saying. Sega? They have nothing to do yes. with Persona. Okay. Uh, they just happen to own Atlas that makes Persona. That's all. That means that, you just answered your own question. <laughs> you just answered what the, <laughs> what the Sega fuck? has no input on the game. That's what I'm saying. I know. Oh my god, dude. Oh, here's another question. Real, look, real, look at it this way. That's like okay. okay, okay I'll, I'll give you another example that will kind of put okay. it into perspective. Okay, okay. You walk into you walk into a Walmart. Okay. You pick up a can of uh, Pepsi on your way out and you pay for it. Does does Walmart make Pepsi now? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> what the hell they got to do with that? It's the same idea. They're yeah. simply the place where you're buying it from. They have nothing to do with it other than that. So you, yeah, yeah. someone asked about the uh, Wonder Woman. It's like, you guys going to see Wonder Marvel? Woman movie looks really good. I think. Uh, I was I'm excited for it. Yeah, Gado. I mean, she... I think she's badass enough be, to be Wonder Woman. Yeah, I mean. I don't care if she's Israeli or not. She can, you know, you know, pull it up as Wonder Woman. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. She was the only good thing about that Batman vs. Superman movie. Hell yeah. Who is, and the Wonder uh, Woman will actually have humor. Who is sexier, yeah, right? uh, t Twin Tail or Bayonetta? Who's sexier? Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Cereza. <laughs> They're both fictional fucking characters, you sick fucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We all know you like Peach and we rag on Peach, so you're mad. Calm down. I like my women in 2D, thank you. Right. You know, Bowser's Ho. Bowser's Ho. Which DC movie you're more excited about? Wonder Woman or Justice League? Man, I really hope DC. Oh, I haven't I, really I, seen enough from Justice League yet. Yeah, they, they I saw like two trailers. Yeah, they, they need to make a good comeback. The Justice League trailer will give away like the whole movie. I'm worried about that because that, that's what happened with the Batman vs. Superman movie. They ruined the entire movie. Yeah, that, was, uh, like, that was trash. That was, trash. That was terrible. <laughs> they, sh they showed you like who the real bad guy is. So you obviously knew they were going to stop fighting and team up and fight him. That was so stupid. I mean, the Doomsday, man. What the fuck? Yeah, the fuck, man. Why would you show that in the trailer? That was retarded. And Jesse Eisenberg was awful in that movie. Yeah, he was like a crazy, you know, skinny like Luther guy on yeah, drugs. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah, no. I mean, I like Jesse Eisenberg. I do, but he was a terrible choice for Lex Luthor. Very, or just the character choice they went with for Lex in that movie, or Lex's yeah. son, whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. No, I think it's Lex Luthor because he goes bald in the movie when they shave his head. Yeah, but like he was referring uh, was to so his stupid. father as Lex Luthor, though, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They were like mixing. Stuff. Yeah, know. but here's the thing: DC has a long way to catch up to Marvel when, when it comes to the big. But that, that's the problem because they're they're fast tracking everything to catch up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, I mean, look, you got a different Flash actor you know, for the big screen Flash. Oh, so different... Stupid. What do you get the guy from TV? <laughs> the TV guy's awesome. Yeah, get him. That'd um, be too much, though. I don't know if he could do both. I guess. Yeah. I mean, Marvel could do it with the you know, Agents of Shield. They use the same actors. Mm. Oh yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, because like Lady yeah. Sif, like oh, the actress stuff. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Like, it's, better when, it's better when you see the same actors. Everything makes more sense. Yeah. 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 Matthew Pike says, uh, "What underrated Nintendo IPs that y'all want to see make a huge comeback for the Switch?" Metroid. Kid Icarus. Me- yeah. Me- Kid Icarus. Metroid. Kid Icarus coming. Metroid. Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus has had way less love than Metroid. Come on. I uh, know. Don't forget Star Fox. I'll throw him. Star Fox got the fucking bitch slapped on the last. It got Miyamoto. Yeah, thanks so. to Miyamoto. <laughs> oh man, Miyamoto rubbed his nuts all over Star Fox. And oh <laughs> damn. <laughs> Yeah, Kid Icarus, that's a good choice. Uh, no, Kid Kirk, no, no Kirby? No more. Dear God, no more. Jesus. Well, Christ. yeah, I'm, no. Kirby's good, man. We didn't we, get any good ones we, on the Wii U. We didn't though. get no Kirby's. Oh, the there's Wii. so oh, many on the 3DS. I, I'm so tired I, of those. I, I, ones I, are good, though. I don't care They're about They're good. But it's just too. I'm so I, tired I, of I, I don't care about the 3DS. I want an HD Kirby, a real one. I want, I want a real uh, one. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I want, I want like, a Captain Falcon beat em up game. That'd be cool. That'd be Where he just cool. goes around fucking punching people. That'd be amazing. Instead of driving around like super racing. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a bunch of games where he's not racing. Like he's in he's in Smash Brothers. He gets his own little uh, side scrolling fighting game. People are losing their minds because there's no F Zero game. That'll be funny. They make an F Zero RPG with no racing and he's the main character. <laughs> oh my god. It's yeah, all just about it, like, it's theory. just about his build up as the number one racer, but the, the racing is just movie clips. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, punch, yeah, yeah. Uh, punch out. OBJ say punch out. That's uh, that needs to come back. Punch out. Yeah, yeah well, we have arms though, so I don't yeah. know. If we yeah, punch yeah, out. By. But punch out's a yeah. classic, man. Like that's still a fan base for punch out. I arms feel like I feel like Springman is just um, Little Mac reskinned. That's his son. Oh, if they make a new punch out, I hope they make new <laughs> characters son. this time. <laughs> like, Punch yeah, out for the Wii only I had one. Back as the trainer this time, he could be the, like what Doc Lewis did for him, you know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool actually. Yeah, because I haven't, you know, just like when Rocky you know, retired, you know, trained the new kid. Damn, kids. Drone Crusher! I want to put my face in Twin Tail's nice juicy ass. I'm lonely. All right, all right. <laughs> God, God damn, about. Drone! Damn. <laughs> Whoa, he... it was too yeah, wow. Star Tropics. Star Tropics would be good. Oh yeah. Uh, you guys believe COD is coming to the Switch? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some, some, some that's happening. You're going to get more, uh, Call of Duty 2 or whatever they're calling it. Uh, World, World War, War 2. That's coming. Yeah. Try at least one. Because <laughs> even like the Wii U got two Call of Duties at launch. Or mm-hmm. in a row at least. They got yeah. two Call of Duties and two Assassin's Creed. So, yeah. yeah, they did. Just nobody bought them. <laughs> yeah. uh, hopefully that doesn't happen this time. <laughs> well, I guess we're... There's another question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, it's like should Disney open their game development division with competent management? Didn't Disney shut down their games division? Yeah, the Disney Infinity and no. Yeah, that's, hey, that's gone. just done. That's just gone. And they said they weren't making enough money to justify. And they it shut down that other game, the, the one that used to be on Facebook, uh, the Marvel Alliance. They shut that down. Like, like yeah. Like damn, like those games are fairly successful. Like how much? Yeah, is it's awesome, and Disney just decided to pull a bitch. Just like ah, we can't feel about it. <laughs> Uh, what else is going on in this chat? He really is like, he's like, I want my barbecue now. <laughs> he's, been, he's been crying for barbecue. This guy's for obsessed us. with your barbecue, man. Because we, because you know Texas makes the best barbecue. That's why, man. That, that's true. Yo, that <laughs> uh, What do you guys think? Who do you guys think should play Martin uh, Martian Manhunter if there's a ma- movie based on him? You know, it would be an interesting voice choice. Uh, the the guy who plays Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. That'd be Ooh, really cool. that would be weird. That would be so weird, right? <laughs> Get someone who can do the uh, the motion capture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, will you watch the Crow reboot when they show it off? They're rebooting the Crow? They know that. Oh, I see how it is. But you guys you know, know they're, they're making a Netflix though. show of The Witcher? Really? I heard about that. Yeah. yeah, they announced it yesterday. So Netflix is going to get their own Witcher TV series. Oh, nice. Just like Indie Studios is getting a TV show based off their game. It's crazy. That's yeah, you got Castlevania going on Netflix. Oh, yeah, that's true. Netflix is doing big shit right now. Yeah, they got the Defenders coming out in August. I mean, yeah. Wow. Oh, I want Danny to be on the voice detective, detective Pikachu. Me too. Well, so, perfect. what's going on with Luke Cage season two? Like, what's the hold up? I don't know. That, that won't exactly. be out until next year. I, I spoke to him. Why, why so long? 
Unbreakable Kimmy right. Schmidt comes out next week. I'm happy about that. But yeah, because I mean, I think Daredevil season three, I think I'll be wow. either next year or the year after that. Hmm. Daredevil three? Oh, it's season three for Daredevil. Like, yeah. Well, Defenders comes out in August this year. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, I mentioned that. No, um, I just finished the season. I spoke to Theo Rossi. Yeah, because I spoke to him about Luke Cage. Like, yeah, it's like I asked him mm-hmm. when season two is like, he said you know, he don't even know like the real date. Man, I got yeah. a lot to catch up on. I just finished season one of The Flash and Daredevil. I got a lot to catch up on. Yeah, they're way better. Have fun binge watching. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. Am I, am I, I, it's like this. Um, I bought uh, Netflix for a reason. I want to catch up on all these shows I haven't been watching. Me too. So I, I got a lot to look forward to. I, I still hadn't started on the Arrow yet. Yeah. I, I got to catch up on uh, Voltron season two. I was like, yeah. yeah they, they got one punch man on Netflix. The thing with that, it's only, it's English sub. Like where's the, the uh, where's the dub Japanese. version? Yeah. One punch man. Yeah. They got yeah, it. In, they got it. In Japanese. Oh, does Netflix or... only have the English one? The English sub. Yeah. Let's get Cody. If you want the Japanese version. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how I got caught up on the Office of the North Star is with Cody. I was like, because I, I was on season two because I wanted to finish that up. Hmm. All right, do you think uh, we we can get a couple more questions? We'll uh, finish this podcast. we about to approach the fuckboy hours. All right, do you think we'll be seeing Scalebound or, or uh, for Project Scorpio Scalebound? I don't know. Not this year. No. Not anytime no. soon. No, no, too soon. The Scorpio showcase is going to be cracked down. Yeah. Ugh. How cancerous will your OC be for Sonic Force? I've been hearing that OC. Uh, I'm, I'm not. What's, what OC stand for? I've been hearing that a lot in that, in that Sonic Force uh, comment section. Does that mean um, like your your own character? Original character. Original character. Yeah. Oh, what I just. You know, you can create your own character now, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is that what that means? Oh, okay. Okay, how cancerous will yo what? Why 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 I gotta be cancerous? You know what I'm saying? How man, fucked up is it gonna look? Like, how fucked up is it gonna look? Man, like man, <laughs> if, if y'all go to those Sonic Forces comment sections, like man, it's yo, some oh, weirdo ass shit going on in God. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You talking about digital... yo, this is like fucking Christmas to these kids, man. Man, you think like that dude's over at D- uh, at Deviant Art or whatever, they're yeah. having a fucking field day. They're having parades in the street. <laughs> man, that comment section is the cancer. Mind, like you, you think Digital Foundry comment section is cancer? Go to those Sonic Forces comment section, man. These people just, oh my god, it's bad, dude. Yeah, Woo, I don't know bad. what it is with Sonic fans, man. <laughs> no, dude, it's, it's just bad. <laughs> this is like the most crazy fan base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeez, here's like another right. question. Yeah, it's like it's from Muhammad. It said, uh, which Nintendo games deserve an HD remaster and why? HD remaster, Luigi's Mansion. There's a whole bunch of them. Lots Nintendo of, has a shit ton of F, amazing F, games. F-Zero uh, GX. Like, which, uh, which console are you talking about Eternal here? Darkness. I guess I, I think I think he's probably Mario, assuming for the Switch. Mario 64, it's, Sunshine. Mario 64 remaster would be cool. Ocarina of Time. Yeah, Ocarina of Time should be number one. Yeah. Oh, see, uh, yeah, uh, Double Dash for. Mm. I don't know if that's gonna happen since we just got Mario Kart. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, you never know. Like you know, some people like that switching around thing. It'd be sweet if they remastered some Pokemon games and brought them to the Switch. Yeah. That'd be cool. Would it be cool if Nintendo had a black female protagonist? I doubt it. It's a Japanese company. That would it? That would yeah, it be I, cool? I, 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 doubt, <laughs> I, I doubt it. We, we already know how we already know how Japanese feel with with black characters. Yeah, but he's just asking, would it be cool if they did it? It I, would be dope. It would. I, I don't care. I, I don't care. I don't. It'd be yeah, twin tail, don't it? She's not black. Well, she is dark, but not black. Now, hold on. Twin tail. She's got to be black. Dog. With a body like that, dog. You <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. I don't oh, know. Come She's, on, son. Maybe Indian? Um, I don't know. Come on, son. It's like Native oh, American. Okay, okay. If, if, she had Af- <laughs> if, if she had an afro, that'd be okay. She's black. No afro. No afro. <laughs> I think we can all just like be okay with her being dark skinned. A person of color. Person yes. of color. A person of a person of yeah, color. When it, when, it, when, it comes, when it comes to Japanese and black people and anime, like I don't like how they 
dude. Or, like, they yo, you very poor. Oh, oh my they god. Make us look so fucking excited, dog. They, we be, they, they be having us having oh, the biggest shit. lips and be acting all stupid. Oh my just, god. Darkest skin. Oh my god. They be having black characters. Just, oh my god. They be racist. I mean, like, darkest midnight. They Our are. eyes always look so weird. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. why? Uh, yeah, they are. They they are racist. I'm not gonna lie. I like I, I, I like anime, but they are racist when it comes to black characters. Very what about Oof? Back in Ball of except, you know, except for some of the ones they produce for American TV shows, like you know, as I know, Toei Mr. Animation, Mr. you know, because they did an animation for Transformers and GI Joe and all that. So, mm. I mean, that's probably the closest they can get without you know going overboard. <laughs> Huh. Non white power. White power. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn. laughs> it's kind of crazy, like these anime shows. Why the characters look white? It's a Japanese anime. I I, I, I never I never got that. Why they don't have Japanese? Yeah, I know. Speak? I mean, I mean, they're the white got blonde hair, but, <laughs> but they got hair, you know blue eyes. <laughs> blue eyes, but they're Japanese. I don't understand. Yeah. I, I would yeah, I'm gonna go blonde. super same. Yeah, blue, blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> I was like, I don't question it. You know, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so I guess, uh, I guess uh, that's, um, I guess that's it, man. I'm tired. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. anybody has there anything else to say before we uh, roll up out of here, man? And the fuck, Sega. Pretty uh, much. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm I'm don't hate, don't hate, don't hate. <laughs> I think we can end all that, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I guess uh, people, it's been a um, really good show. Uh, we broke uh, the Real Talk podcast records as far as the viewers. Uh, really appreciate y'all having uh, seven plus viewing while we we're live. And y'all just make sure y'all tune in back next Thursday. Oh, especially y'all come back tomorrow. If you want to hear the fuckery that's been going on in this uh, community, then come back to the um, Alex Real Show for Fuckboard Friday. So, uh, yeah. Oh, stay yeah. tuned for tomorrow and stay tuned for the uh, Mario uh, Kart, was it Mario Madness Monday on Alex's channel? Mario Kart 8 Monday Madness. Yeah, so every uh, Monday. Yeah, we actually play games too, if y'all want to know. We actually play games. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we always busy, man. Playing <laughs> games. Um, our podcasts, man, we we always on the move, man. So y'all y'all make sure y'all come back, stick tuned, uh, stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to everybody. Um, make sure um, you share this video, like this video, tell everybody about this channel, tell everybody about everybody else's channel, whatever. Uh, we we keep it um we keep it entertaining on this podcast. That's why I like it. That's why I like everybody uh, because we keep it we. Everybody's, we keep it one hundred. Nah, well, I don't know about him, but yeah, 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 you're right. We do, <laughs> we do keep it one hundred, but not like him. But we do keep it one hundred, oh, and uh, we, uh, we keep it, we, we keep it cool, man. It's just, how, it's just how we are, man. So I guess, um, I guess after that, anybody else has anything to say? Eh, tired. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'm, I'm tired, too, man. I'm, I'm tired. Okay, so um, I guess let's go ahead and get it. You know, our outros out the way. Uh, start you, uh, Alex. All right, what's going on, everyone? Active Sin here. Another week of real talk with the real gamer. A lot of good topics here. A lot of good communication in the chat here. A lot of people drop by. Thanks for dropping by. Make sure to turn out tomorrow for Fuckboy Friday, and on Monday for Mario Kart Eight Mon- Mario Kart Eight Monday Madness, and Tuesday for Team Red Talks Nintendo. We got a lot of shows, a lot of content, a lot of fun. For all you guys, uh, yeah, Sega's trying to make a comeback. We will see how that works out. And uh, yeah, Nintendo selling people on arms with the thickness. Good job. <laughs> okay. All right. What about you, Darkstar? Yo, what's up, guys? Appreciate you having me back on here. If you guys want to find me? You can look up Darkstar18 on YouTube. I just put up a new video about arms, talking about Nintendo and their current state of business. So, you want to check that out? Find me on there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go with you, uh, Nick. See ya. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Nick. You know what? The guy. Whatever. He's a guy. <laughs> All right, Sinister. Hey, what's up, y'all? Sinister here. You know, appreciate you know, great cut. You know, have a lot of good topics on here. You know, from Sega to Nintendo to Microsoft, and that's to say, hey, support these guys, support our channels, and out there. And then that, peace out. All right, appreciate it. everybody came to the podcast today. Appreciate all the viewers that came and support, keeping that chat live and uh, as well. 
Uh, so yeah, for all the people that's going to watch this in the future, uh, you, you know, make sure you uh, you know subscribe to everybody that's here, and stay tuned for Fuckboy Fridays and Mario Kart Madness uh, Monday and Team Red Talk on Tuesday. Team Red Talk since then on Tuesday. So yeah, I guess after that, uh, I guess we will see y'all tomorrow. And uh, like I said, appreciate y'all coming out, and uh, we see y'all tomorrow. Peace out. Peace.